The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the very funny comedian with a giant gambling problem and a crazy wife. Please welcome Mr. Steve Peters. I have hooves. He has hooves. <laughs> And uh, another stand-up comedian. He is the funniest person in Wichita, Kansas for 21 and 2023. And is the only asshole that did not participate in our Christmas fun, Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. Ho, 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 motherfuckers. (laughs) (laughs) Me and Steve uh, came prepared for the Christmas episode this week. Yes, we did. I'm wearing a Santa (laughs) bodysuit. That is correct. So, that's yeah, true. it is true. I'm fucking jolly. Yeah. No, it's just that. I don't know how you write with hooves. <laughs> this isn't going to work. You've got to stick the pen in your ass. <laughs> Fuck. This is not good. And yeah. have very strong quads. <laughs> I mean, we could probably figure it out eventually, but uh, but good luck down there, Mr. Mr. Steve. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, but anyways, we have an excellent episode for you guys this week. It is Christmas right around the corner. I know a lot of you guys are going to be traveling, uh, but if this is the very first time you've listened to a Laughing on the Sideline show, this is a comedy podcast where you like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend a lot of people who have thin skin. So if you're one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. I have some extra skin if you need to borrow. That is true. You will get thick Mm -hmm. skin if uh, if you'd like to borrow some of Derek's. Mm -hmm. But man, it's Christmas season, baby. It's yeah. Yeah. Yay. I'm wearing a Christmas time is here yeah i gotta ugly. i'm still celebrating d-day oh are you yeah good for you i have a japanese bartender that works for me <laughs> and on december 8th i was like i'm gonna be fucking watching you that was the <laughs> or december 7th <laughs> whatever sorry december after it's already happened yeah. i got my eye on <laughs> you i was like i don't know she, she should work today <laughs> she could have done a back-to-back yeah. you know but, she just uh, sold kamikazes all night. It was very <laughs> strange. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, but, yeah, we do have an excellent episode for and you fireball. guys. fireball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kamikazes and fireball. Absolutely. Uh, but we've got some headlines in sports that we're going to go over. We've got some never have I ever. Mm-hmm. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas. A lot of good questions this week. Uh, and then we also have the draft. And as always, we wrap things up with a shitty situation. Uh, but before we do all of that, we uh, like to tell you guys, because you know you really care, about what happened to us over the last week. Uh, and I think, uh, I don't know, who wants to kick this off? We're going to go with Steve. Steve, you want to kick this bad bitch off? I have been in Kansas City. Yes, you have. For the past week and a half. A building Missouri or Kansas? Missouri. Oh, uh, building, the real one. Building yeah. a structure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a very complicated roof line. Uh, I believe most people call that a gingerbread house. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it was very Christmassy. Yeah, there. Uh, I had to keep it together with icing, <laughs> but no, it's uh, it, it was a friend of mine, he owns a construction company up there, and he couldn't figure it out, so he had me come up and do it, and I almost couldn't figure it out. And uh, we're now about a week and a half in, and I'm not done yet, but I'm getting very, very close. I should be done by the weekend. Well, good. Just yeah. in time for Christmas, huh? Exactly. That's ho, great. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, but now you're gone throughout the, the whole week, so, you're, so you don't have to deal with your wife. But yeah, no, it's, that's, I kind of missed her a little bit. Yeah? I don't know. She's nice. Well, uh, I, I did. 
I did get to go to the bar. I went to Vorshay's on uh, what was it? what night was that? Was I don't know. I think I was in Kansas City. You were in Kansas City. I, I was actually in Kansas City playing poker. I believe it. I went to yeah, Vo- I, I went to Vorshay's. Oh, it was uh, Friday. Sixteen hundred. Nice, nice. Uh, it was uh, it was on Friday night, and I texted you to say, "Hey, are you at the bar?" And you told That's me, right. "No, you're in Kansas City." That's right. And you were worried because you were hoping that it was going to be a packed bar, and so I then proceeded to send you all kinds of fucking pictures. Yeah. Of, but you were watching on the cameras. Oh yeah, God yeah. There it. was like twelve billion people in you there. Were I was sniping like, oh, I'm me. really glad I'm not there. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your wife was behind the bar. She was tossing drinks. Yep. I don't think she really knows who I am. I don't think she recognizes what? me. What? I yeah, don't think she so. Does. She I, I don't have no many leprechauns. She just that's true. She pretends she doesn't know you. That's yeah. probably like, yeah. more like it. If uh, I don't no. look at him, he doesn't have to acknowledge that. <laughs> Correct. Well, not only that, but they're <laughs> packed. I mean, I can't really go up there and be like, hey, how are you doing? You remember me? No, she That's true. You she, could. I mean, no, but no, she she was busy. She was slinging drinks. Plus, her vision's mainly based on movement. That's true. So, <laughs> that is, that's good. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I love it. I also love Jameson. Yeah, you so do. Yeah. That's yes. And that's good. Did that's you good. did you do anything else other than build shit? No, I really haven't. I built shit and played poker and that was it. And uh it was just oh man, I'm getting old. Yeah, I you think. are. Yeah, it hurts. Uh, like it really hurts. Yeah. So But you're in impeccable shape though. <laughs> yep. I mean for for a, for, a, <laughs> for a fat guy that drinks too much and gambles too much, I guess I'm in great shape. Excellent shape. I don't, I don't think you're old till you start playing pitch. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I like it. When you go to the bar to play cards not for money, that's whatever you Oh right. yeah, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who would do that? That's ridiculous. When you meet at McDonald's for coffee every morning? <laughs> oh dude. That, yeah, that's, that's what Jeremy that's, Joseph does. <laughs> <laughs> 100 percent uh shit well i guess i'll kick off my week with a with a can't down- wait yeah no it's it was a downer i uh my 93 year old grandfather passed post- passed away um and Sorry. so yeah no it sucked and so i get to go to western kansas for christmas for a funeral which really sucks yeah uh yeah it's i mean i was we were planning on going there anyway and i know it's this sounds absolutely terrible but we have literally been saying that this is grandfather's last christmas for five fucking years so yeah. i mean dude he had a hell of a life and so uh it's it's really sad but and it hit me hard uh, the night, night, the day that I fucking found out about it, I called Derek and Derek had to fucking coddle me over the phone because it was bawling my eyes out. So I appreciate that very much. Uh, but yeah, uh, after What's your grandpa's name, uh, Ralph, Ralph, okay. Ralph, Ralph German. Yep. Uh, so, but, uh, when it's all said and done, uh, I did have a pretty decent overall week. Uh, I did go to Vorshay's, had a really good time on Friday night. Nice. It was cool. Uh, the band sucked, but it was okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I <laughs> did. Was, who'd you book, Steve? <laughs> you got I have no idea which <laughs> band okay. was it. You got to get Creed in there. You do got to get I know. Creed. I need to. For uh, sure. I think they're free. Yeah, there's there's one guy alive from LFO. Maybe you can get him in there. Yes, yes. you could. Fuck yeah, we're <laughs> yeah. Do that there's one left. Sure. He uh, can still sing Summer Girls. Nice. I say <laughs> I say they suck. They didn't suck. They were actually pretty decent. It's it, it was just it was one of these weird uh, attitudes that I had. But um, I did something that I don't think anybody ever has done. Uh, I, I I've been re- well. Did I've been you trying- steal a Bill Murray painting? Because it's been done <laughs> <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> I love that damn thing too. Yeah. Uh, but no, I uh, I've been really trying to watch my health. I've been drinking a lot more water. I, I haven't been drinking very much alcohol at all. And so I also Gay. shut up. I also I I, I listened to uh, a podcast and they suggested getting this stuff. It's called AG One. It's Athletic Greens. Oh yeah. Yeah that stuff my wife takes that i know and uh so i was really excited to try it and uh i tried it incorrectly uh i don't know if they know but that it's a powdered stuff that comes in a bag yeah i had no idea the scoop that they give you Mm -hmm. is always apparently buried in the bottom of the bag and i had no idea i also don't read directions very well so i guessed on how much i should take and what to put it in so i put it in this cup this mm-hmm. giant ass cup that i have mm-hmm. and i just kind of guessed and it was about a cup of ag1 stuff um for those of you guys who don't know it's you're only supposed to have a little bit over like a tablespoon 
And uh, I think I overdosed on AG1. Nice. Oh, yeah. It, I, my, Did it clean you out? Like a fucking roto rooter. Nice. Oh, my God. Now I'm going to go try something. <laughs> and it's like, it's one of those substances whenever you're like, and plus, you're only supposed to drink it like in a shot. Like, you're supposed to get a small glass, mix it with water, you and can take a, it as a shot. You can also snort it. You can. Yeah, and, for sure. And <laughs> it works faster. If you've got a funnel and a mirror, <laughs> suppository. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Powdered suppositories are a little tricky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but whenever you fart, you look like LeBron James just came on the court. Just that's true. <laughs> that's great. Uh, but no, I uh, I didn't know this, but I mixed it with water. And whenever you're drinking it, first off, it doesn't taste the best. And then secondly, it looks like like baby shit. It looks like baby shit. It's green. green. Oh, it's it is disgusting. green. Disgusting. But uh, even even worse, like that aftertaste, it, it was it was god awful. But whenever it runs through your body, you shit green as well. Nice. So I am extra festive and Merry Christmas to all of you. You guys should try it and have green shit as well. Put edible glitter in it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be even more fun. Fuck yeah. You had, you had <laughs> I bet JP shits. does that. I had green shits. You yeah. had Grinch shits. Grinch shits. Yes, I love absolutely. It. It was a fucking pooping ornament. That's a question we have to ask JP next time if we he do. drinks the edible glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, when we went to uh, Oklahoma one time, we stopped. There's a place in Oklahoma City that's really good. It's called Tucker's Onion Burgers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's fucking awesome. And uh, so we went there, and they had like a, it was like a fucking cookie monster shake or some shit. And I was yeah. like, all right, I want to try this. So I got one of those, uh, and it's blue. And we were on our way to Dallas. And so we get to Dallas, and I go in to take a shit, and I mean, it was straight blue. And I was like, honey, you got to come see this. Oh, <laughs> no way. And she's like, fuck you. Yeah. And I go, I'm not flushing it. <laughs> like, you're going to see this. You I might as well that. get it out of the way. That's awesome. And she goes, oh, my God. I'm like, yeah, right? <laughs> I got yeah. elated. You had a smurf. That is. Three days. <laughs> Four days. <laughs> Three days I was shitting blue. Really? Yes. I want to try this drink. You need yeah, to. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Wow. I felt half Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. I uh, love it. And I guess I'll wrap my my week up with I made it into the semifinals for fantasy football. Nice. Yes. I beat my stepdad like a uh, I just beat the shit out of him. Finally, payback for what he did to you as a child. Exactly. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, so I nobody don't... fingers me and gets away with it. <laughs> <laughs> that stretched my cock hole out huge. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so yes, I I am uh, in a good spot. I'm I go up against the best team in the league this week. I don't think I'm gonna make it through. But Who, if I do. That? Huh? Who's that? Who's the best team? My, the best team in the league is my uncle. He replaced uh, you. Uh, ah, yeah. uh, But he has Tyreek Hill and Tua, so it's going to be a rough week. Hmm. But anyways, Derek, you haven't been on uh, in a week or so, so what has been up with you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Moving on. Oh, uh, no, no, you did some stuff. I went to see Adam Sandler. You did. Nice. Yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. I think my favorite part of that whole show yeah. was before the show. Whenever we're like walking around the concourse, the show hadn't started yet. Uh, it's probably about 45 minutes from starting, and everybody's surrounding the TV watching the end of the Chiefs game. <laughs> And then they, that touchdown happened, and they're like, yeah! And then they call it back for offsides. <laughs> and then you just hear me and me alone go, yeah! Like this. <laughs> dick. Yes. That was, I love it. That was my awesome. favorite part of the show. That's great. I love it. Uh, it was really cool. Uh, Rob Schneider emceed it, mm-hmm. and then uh, David Spade was there. Uh, and then Sandler was on, and then while Sandler was on, uh, Kevin James was actually sitting out in the crowd, which I'm sure is planned every show. Oh, so yeah, 100%. Can you so imagine then, if you were sitting next to him? Oh, yeah. yeah be he like was sitting right on the leg, floor. Like, he was sitting like the I back of the you. floor. He wasn't really? even like in the front. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, like I didn't want his seats. I'm like, fuck that. That's too far. <laughs> I'm better than Kevin James. I'm not sitting back here. Well, that's true. I agree with so, that. But then... Uh, he was like, "Yeah, I've just kind of missed you, buddy." And uh, so Fucking somebody's King like, "King of Queens, buddy." So somebody in the crowd gives him a hug, and then there's like a line of people giving him a hug, like oh. they won't fucking stop. Oh yeah. And so then there's this one big fat shirtless dude, not me, 
And uh, <laughs> Bert Kreischer was no, there? No, he's bigger oh. than Bert. Oh. And he goes to, he's like, oh, no, no. The security shoes him off. And Sandler's like, no, 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 no. Let that guy give him up. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. That's but great. I love it. I will tell you, just the show itself was good, but Adam Sandler seems like the most genuine fucking dude. Oh, 100%. Right? Yeah. Just yeah. Period. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, he, he always portrays that, but even watched him on stage and. Like I, I read that he went to Wichita State and played basketball yep. with some of the people at Wichita he did. State. Yep. Uh, he just seems like a, a like if he if he lost all the fame and was just and everything was taken just away, a normal dude. I don't think I don't think his life would change. I think yeah. he'd do the same shit. Probably. Well, he'd yeah. Be, he'd be broke, but yeah. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. But he's, he sends like flowers to Jennifer Aniston every single Mother's Day because I need she, to start doing that. <laughs> yeah. No yeah, shit. No shit. <laughs> I just send her dick pics. Yeah. <laughs> She sends him back. It's yeah, weird. It's weird. <laughs> Super weird. <laughs> Whose is this? It's Angelina Jolie. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, so you did that. Uh, anything else? Anything else fun you did? Uh, my in law, my mother in law was in town. Oh, uh, that's and, uh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Yay. they went shopping, and I'm like, you can just drop me off back at the house. Yeah. So got a new, uh, a new ceiling fan. That's, that's what, exciting. That's what they got us for Christmas, which I need because my ceiling fan, when you turn the light on, it just turns back off. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, and I don't know if it's in the, it's not the switch. I don't know if it's in the wiring or yeah, what it's it is. It's probably a short in the fan. So I'm like, fuck. So yeah. I ended up, uh, they got us a new one and we couldn't agree on a fan. Really? No, no. You got to get a giant one. I wanted, I wanted the one that has like the LED thing in there. You can like dim it and do all yeah. this stuff with yeah, it. Yeah, of course. But then, uh, so I was sold on that, and my wife's like, "I want the one with the globes, the little four oh. little." And I'm like, "I hate oh. that shit." Yeah, it's old time. Yeah, and so, but then when I was talking to the dude at Lowe's, I did not know this. Uh, those LED ones, when they go out, you have to either get a whole new fan or oh, get a get yeah, an LED you can't light change kit. The light bulb. No, yeah, that's and right. so then he showed me what one looked like, and I was like, "Fuck that!" Yeah. <laughs> so we compromised and got something I don't think either of us wanted. <laughs> nice, <laughs> perfect. perfect. That sounds that's great. Awesome. Yeah, I'm like, I don't hate that, and she's like, me neither. And I'm like, all right, that'll work. <laughs> there so, you go. I love it. So that's Good what deal. we ended up doing, and then uh, yeah, really uh, a whole lot of nothing. I'm going to go have dinner with Mr. Jeremy Joseph tomorrow. Yeah, nice. Or Thursday. 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 It'll yeah. be tomorrow by the uh-huh. time this comes out yeah so tomorrow tomorrow uh-huh i'm gonna have morning coffee with him at mcdonald's nice <laughs> so. yeah, nice uh great just be nice just be nice don't be one of those you know people that annoy the shit out of mcdonald's employees hopefully that bitch martha's not working right <laughs> <laughs> again yeah Ah, uh, shit. Well, I hope everybody uh, out there has a uh, fun, uh, I, I guess, a fun Christmas. I hope if you're traveling and you're listening to us, I hope you get there safely. Uh, but, yeah, enjoy uh, enjoy a good Christmas. We've got a great show. Uh, but where you get the, oh. oh, what? I, I did tell my wife, too. I let her in on a secret. What mm-hmm. was a secret? Uh, we we got into a little bit, not, a, not an argument, but I looked at her finally. I was like, do you want to fight? <laughs> and she, she looks at me just crazily, and I go, I'm a really good fighter. <laughs> and she's like, when did this start? And I was like, it's, I've, it's a secret. Like, I don't, I don't like to brag that shit around. I don't like to fucking boast about how good of a fighter I am. Like I'm, I really keep that close to the chest. I don't like a lot of people to know. Yeah. Like sometimes if I'm in a fight, I'll purposely get my ass whipped just to cover the secret. That's true. So, yeah. I, mean, I, like it. I did I did forget one part of things. she believes me. Oh, now. yeah. What'd you got? I uh, did comedy. Oh, you did? Week. Yeah. Nice. I, uh, last Thursday at the Vorshis. Yeah? I was on the CJ Star Show. I'll be darned. Right. Yeah. I was the only white guy. Nice. Uh, actually, I take that back. The girl that was up before me is the pastor's wife. Oh, Lindy? Oh. Lindy, Lindy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when I went on stage, I was like, I'm white, but that is fucking white. <laughs> and, uh, and then I, I thanked them for letting me be a part of their BLM event. <laughs> good. That's good. Everybody laughed and it was fun. And so it was a good time. And that's you were like, like, I'm Steve Peters. All I yeah. matters. Good night. I was like, I'm going I'm to change my Facebook profile thing to black. And I was like, and then I'll change it to blue to support Israel, but you have to buy that square. That's weird. <laughs> It was weird, but yeah, I that was really fun. Like yeah. that was actually a really fun show, dude. I, I hadn't done like that was fun, fun. Have you really had fun. a? I mean, uh, I mean, other than bombing, have you ever had like a show that just wasn't fun? 
Uh, several of them. Several? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, yeah, 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 for sure. I just can't Yeah, there's imagine. some shows that are, like, dreadful. It's like, uh, fuck this. this I've is, actually watched Steve do comedy, and a lot of the shows he's on aren't fun. Dreadful. <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, yeah. It's just something I just don't understand. If you go to a comedy club for a comedy show, and you walk in with a shitty attitude, not wanting to laugh. Like, that's the whole fucking point you want I'm, to go to. I'm kind of, yeah, I don't, I'm kind of different, though. Like, ever, like most comics are like, don't yell anything out. Shut the fuck up when the comic's on stage. Da, da. Fuck that. Yeah. Dude, we're all there to have a good time. Yell shit. I don't care. Yell it out. That's fucking fun. It's that, I feel like there's, believe it or not, there's a lot of comedians. I mean, like Derek, there's a lot of comedians that just aren't funny people. You know? <laughs> He's exactly correct. So yeah. it's just, they have, they have no wit whatsoever. They yeah. can't think on their feet. They're, but no, in a, on a very serious note. He is describing me. <laughs> there, there is, there is a lot of comedians that hone uh, an act. Yeah. And then that's, they don't, there's no, like, they don't talk. Yeah. After like it's so strange, dude. John yeah. Caparulo was the weirdest human being I've probably ever been around in my life. Really? Time. Yeah. And I was so fucking excited to have him come yeah. do comedy. Like I was so fucking I was a little starstruck. I was excited. And then I was like, I fucking hate this guy. Oh <laughs> like, my god. I'm just ready for this to be over with. Really? Oh, like no, 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 not wow. at all. He was very strange. Very, well, very odd guy. Yeah. Uh, but then Chris Porter is probably one of my favorite human beings on the planet. I love that guy. He's oh, great. Yeah. He's a great hang. He's just a nice guy. He's, he's awesome. Well, anyway. So, oh, all anyway. right. Well, yeah, we'll move sorry. on. Uh, guys, if you guys have not done so yet, please do me a favor or do us a favor. Uh, pause the podcast and go to Spotify or Apple and uh, give us a five-star rating. That helps us out. That brings in new listeners. And you know you want a whole bunch of people to listen to us. That's what you want. Uh, but do that for us if you haven't done that yet. We sincerely do appreciate it. But we're going to kick this thing off with headlines. No, no, no. no. Oh, Wait. What? What? They're still going there to get the five star rating fixed. Oh, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Don't go too fast. You okay. got to give them a second. Oh, my bad. We're fucking serious. <laughs> go give us the five star. Oh. <laughs> that's all right. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I wanted to threaten. No, While you're at it, give us a uh, Yelp review. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My eggs were underdone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, we got headlines to get to. Uh, I know there was a lot of football. Yes, we are kind of a sports show, but we are not ESPN. Uh, but I did want to bring I up. I did not know that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I did want to bring up the absolute annihilation of uh, whoo, the Chargers on Thursday. Uh, that was funny. It was really funny because I think the over uh, over under was somewhere along the lines of like thirty points. It was one. It's supposed to be one. Of, are oh, dead serious? Dead serious. It was. They supposed got to be, that before the half. They did, uh, and it was just an absolute just slaughtering uh, I, the Chargers. I honestly forgot that football was on, and then I was like, oh, shit. I wonder what the score is. And I turned it on, and I was like, what the f Like, <laughs> yes. I didn't think it was real. I, I was like, same. wait, is this not... Like, I didn't... Someone I was like, I don't think this Madden. is the right game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was weird. Same same thing for me, because I, ha I totally forgot the game was on, but I was kind of curious. I didn't have anybody playing on Fantasy, but I turned the channel to it, and I'm like, that's got to be a fucking typo. Like, yeah. no fucking yeah. way yeah. that's happening yeah, right now. Yeah, for sure. And yep, 100%. It, and it sure was. Uh, so, yeah, there was that. Um, I did want to give a shout-out to a particular head coach in the NFL, uh, and he is a giant piece of shit, and that is, uh, that is Arthur Smith um, for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, he has maybe one of the best running backs in the entire NFL in B. John Robinson, and I think he decided to uh, fuck every fantasy football fan over uh, that has B. John and only give him the ball like fucking five times. Fuck that guy so very much, and that's and he got what he he got what he deserved because he ended up losing to the Carolina Panthers, who are the worst team in the NFL. Go fuck yourself, Arthur Smith. I don't uh, know if I'm ever going to have another kid or not, but if I do, that kid's being named B. B. John <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. And his last name is going to be Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> I think they wanted to name him Dijon and just got the name wrong. I, I think like so, it. too. They, they just thought it sounded like it was a B. Yep. Yep. I like it. I um, like, awesome. like his sister, Macquarie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Like, uh, I think, that, isn't that that frozen drink? That's daiquiri. <laughs> ah. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you see how much it costs to go to the, the Panthers game? No. What this they game. were going, this game against uh, Atlanta, what the tickets were going for, like uh -uh. nosebleeds. No, what no would idea. you guess? Thirty bucks, forty-five cents. Shut the fuck up. Dead serious. Forty-five what? cents. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, my. I still wouldn't go. <laughs> and like, you're if only they handed me, me 40... 15 drink tickets when I got in the door, I'd be like, all right, we can do this. Uh, but you got to get a Jake Locker jersey. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's awful. Uh, but yeah, uh, the next thing, uh, the Detroit Lions end up beating the shit out of the Broncos, which is really fun. Yeah, they did. And as a Detroit Lions fan, I can say, I told you so, it all depends on which Jared Goff decides to show up. If Jared Goff, who sucks, shows up, they get obliterated. If Jared Goff, who enters God mode, shows up, they win <laughs> badly. So I still, I'm not convinced that this is a excellent team. I think they're a... Uh, a so competitive he's a little team. too streaky for you. He's extremely streaky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And and I still love I like it. Like it. as a guy and as a person, I love Jared Goff. But the inconsistency just absolutely drives me up the fucking wall. Yeah. Um, but they they have their eyes set on the uh, the number two seed in the NFC. They're ten and four. I think it's the first time they've won ten games yeah, since two thousand and fourteen. Yeah, yeah. So it's like all right. But the thing is, is who have they beat? They've beat the Kansas City Chiefs without Travis Kelsey. And that's pretty much it. So until they go and they play, I mean, they play Minnesota twice, and then they go to uh, Dallas and play Dallas at home or at, in Dallas. So until that game happens, if they beat Dallas, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, they're going to be dangerous in the playoffs. But until that time, I'm still fucking nervous. So yeah, because the Minnesota thing is not really. I mean, is it, it's Jordan, is it Jordan Love? Jordan Love, right? No, that's Green or, Bay. That's the, oh, that's, wait, that's, that's the, the Packers. That's the Who the fuck Packers. is the, who's playing quarterback for Dobbs Minnesota now? It's right a, now. No, he's hurt. No, he's so, no, so they're, they're on it's the, the, it's the, the alopecia kid, right? No, he got hurt. What happened? <laughs> is that the same dude? Yeah, that's right. Cool. But, oh. but yeah, it, the whole thing is, is they're on their fourth starting quarterback for the season. So it's oh, like, well, oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. But that'll be the game they lose. Yeah, exactly. You know that. Like, you know how that shit works. Exactly. But then they play him twice too so and it's then like, Derek's ah. like it's fucking rigged yeah, exactly. that's totally why is. it works it's, that exactly. way yeah, totally. exactly if you can't see it man i just uh but yes and then uh then on monday night football we had the uh the opportunity to see a possibility for jalen hurts to have a flu game saw, yeah. you see jalen uh jalen was questionable all the way through yep. the week mm -hmm. and said he was extremely sick like they flew him on a different plane to not get holy the other guys shit. to hold. The, yeah, holy shit. I wish I had that kind of money. No yeah, kidding, right? Hey, you know what? I don't want to be around you assholes. I'm just going to take <laughs> another plane. I've got diarrhea. It's like some dude. <laughs> the pilots had to be like, what the fuck? What about <laughs> yeah. us? Yeah. Like, I'm sure he was in like a whole 747 by himself, yeah. too. You know what I mean? The pilots uh, are in like fucking hazmat suits. Yes. <laughs> Jalen Hurts is just fucking in a thong, shitting all over the aisles, <laughs> rubbing his balls on every seat. Well, you have back. to. So everybody calls everything the flu. Was it the stomach flu where you're puking all over the place, or was it like respiratory flu? I don't know. Uh, I, I really I, didn't I don't know which one on. would be worse. You know what I mean? Like where you can't fucking breathe and he moves. He runs so much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that'd that's be, true. I don't know. I'd rather have the breathing thing than runs with the runs. Yeah. Uh, you know <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. You'd run out of underwear that you packed real quick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but like, no. we're, we're wearing our browns tonight, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, we are. I've, uh, he'd be getting out of the game. Uh, but, yeah, so he actually ended up playing, and he had the opportunity for a flu game, and he actually did okay. I thought he did really well. It did I watched fine, a lot of that game, yeah. But they ended up losing to the Seattle Seahawks. They did. Yeah. They did. And uh, good for Seattle. You know, that was a big win for you. Uh, I'm still kind of not – I'm not really liking this whole talk about they're going to uh, ban the brotherly shove. I think uh, if you – I thought it was the tush push. It's either the, the, it's tush the same. Push. It's the same shit. They call it the same thing. You know, the brotherly oh. shove means something totally different. Yeah. Alabama. <laughs> you can ask JP about that one. He sure can. No, you go, I, uh, you I go think, down south. The brotherly sh the shove is a whole different. Meaning. I thought it was yeah. a line dance. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. I was like, what the fuck is this? Depends thing? on how many you got involved. Yeah. <laughs> also oh, known as the human centipede. Well, I don't. I think the only reason that that would be a bad idea to to ban it is I think Mike or somebody said this last time is other teams have tried it and they just can't perfect it no they can't it's, do it it's not like good. they're doing something that's illegal it's not like they're doing something that nobody else can do yeah they just can't figure it out and that's you what know? that's so what's not i mean they're not deflating the ball or no. anything like that they're just 
and that's what oh. pisses me off. I think they the should, most. They should ban winning then, because the Bears can't perfect that. Yeah, I agree should. with that, one hundred percent. But what do you think is going to happen if they ban it? They're still going to do quarterback sneaks for a yard almost every single time. They just don't. Well, yeah. I, they just don't want the running backs to come in behind the quarterback and push him through. It's just rugby. It, it's, that's all it's it is. All it is. It's rugby. But you know who? You know what the secret of that whole play is. His I name, used to play rugby. No, no, no. I'm talking about this whole play. Oh, of, Kelsey. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, of course. It is Jason yeah. Kelsey. Yeah, because he, he's a beast. He is not. He's not even that big. But no, what, but he's a fucking beast. He is a like, beast. He, he's yeah. He gets lower than the guy in yeah. front of him, and yeah. he just pushes it's a, him a it's yard. A, it's That's a scrum it. in rugby. That's all it is. Exactly. And you have so in rugby you have one, two, and three. Those are the numbers for the first three guys, your front row. And then you have four and five are in the back. They're the tallest guys. And the four and five guys just push the fuck out of the one, two, three guys. And everybody digs and pushes forward. It's a rugby scrum. That's mm-hmm. all it is. Oh, yeah. You know? But it's, other teams can't figure it out. So and now. Ted Lasso is coaching the goddamn yeah. Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Kind of looks like Now it. I like the Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> believe, Eagles, believe. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, but that's that's all I got for football. The only other thing I was really happy about was the Buffalo Bills beat the fuck out of the Dallas Cowboys, and Dak yes. looked like shit. My wife was sad. <laughs> <laughs> and I was oh, like, oh, shit, babe. <laughs> yeah. And I was in Kansas City, and she was being a dick to me. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck did I do? She's like, my team is losing. <laughs> that's I was fucking like, awesome. oh, sorry. I love it. But probably the thing that I, uh, I paid more attention to this weekend than I have in a very long time was UFC 296. Did you Did not it? even see it? Holy shit. Like, and here's the thing. I watched the whole thing. I watched the prelims, but as all of the action that happened in the ring, the shit that happened outside of it was 10 times fucking better. I did better. hear about some of that, but I didn't really pay attention. I'll kick it off with the main event. Colby Covington ended up fighting Leon Edwards, back on. who is the champion. And uh, I understand that in order to sell a fight and sell more views and sell more tickets, you kind of you talk shit. Yeah, right? You, you talk smack to the guy you're going to fight. We should do that more on this show. We should. But... I, do you think there's a line that you should not fucking cross when it comes to talking shit, especially when it comes to fighting or anything, or is everything just game? Like you know, I thought. Well, I, guess I mean that's part of their strategy. To get in, to your, get head? in your head, one hundred percent. But do you think it's okay that Co- uh, Covington basically told Leon that his dad is in hell? Well, I mean, we don't know if he isn't. <laughs> Just, I, mean, I have no idea well, what his dad did. He killed like three hookers while he was here. I have no clue. Uh, but yeah. But I mean, it's fucking, I don't know, man. It's like, I wouldn't do it probably, but. That's kind of where I I'm don't at. know. You know what I mean? That's, like, yeah. I, I don't think you can fucking tell the dude, you can't say that. That's where I mean, I'm at. Yeah. I don't, we're, not, we're not Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I UFC's agree. just going through their attitude era. And then. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude, it's starting to look more and more and more and more like WWE. It really is. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. It, oh, yeah. We're the, yeah. They're, yeah, that's they, pretty they've, awesome. They've got personalities and shit. Yeah. And they, and they have all, all have kind of a theme that yeah. they go with, yeah. you know. And so it's well, like. Colby Covington's mm. a fucking psycho, too, he's, right? I mean, like, he's he's yeah. got all kinds of weird shit going I mean, on. of course. But Wasn't I, he dressed as a. Uh, George Washington. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, and, and it's like, I don't care about the poli- the political side of it. But oh, I, no, 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 no. But he, but, fought, just, like, he fought like. But, George Costanza. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was getting to say, getting ready to say. It's like he talked all of this shit the whole fucking like month before this fight. And and Kobe Covington is known as this guy of whenever he fights, this is going to be an all out war. Yeah. And for the entire fight, yeah. he avoided Leon like he was the plague. He didn't. I mean, he mm. looked awful and slow and sluggish. It was a tough fight to watch. Maybe he's trying to keep it a secret that he's such a badass. So Pos- he just, yeah, he just yeah. got his ass whipped on purpose. Derek's strategy. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what correct. I do. I'll that's headbutt true. a fist. I don't give yeah. a fuck. I will. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's pretty badass, dude. That's th- a good strategy. That uh-huh. really is. Yeah. Um, and uh, one of my favorite fi- fighters actually had the same exact strategy uh, in this. I mean, I love the guy. His name is Rocky. Br- no, Bryce oh. Mitchell. Bryce Mitchell got knocked out in the first round um, and uh, by Josh Emmett. Mm-hmm. And it was really cool because he got knocked out, 
and in, and when he was just out fucking cold, his he started convulsing because uh, I think he was seizing. That's a little extra razzle dazzle. Yeah, but the coolest part about it was that the guy that was that knocked him out mm-hmm. uh, didn't go up and try to like follow up with more shots to him and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, he just kind of sat down and like hoped and prayed for this kid to come back to life. Oh shit! And so he gave him a shout out on Twitter, and they went back and forth. It was actually a really cool. Th- I wish fighters were more like these two guys. Uh, but that's not. Yeah, but happens. leading up to a fight, you're not going to be like, "Hey, buddy, I hope you whip me today." <laughs> like, I mean, fuck off, you know? It's like, no, I'm going to fucking crush you, you know? Yeah, that's true. But then after that, I think you have a level of respect for two modern day gladiators that climb into a ring and beat the fuck out of each other for the entertainment yeah. of all of their fans and everything else, and then also to feed whatever fire is burning inside of them to try and do what they're doing oh absolutely 100 cash that fucking check and uh, you know yeah it, or if you don't want to do it in the ring you can also do it outside of the ring when it's True. not your fucking turn to fight and that is sean strickland uh and uh i believe his name is the the plus or the something like that mm-hmm. i don't know i just know sean strickland's a fucking psycho crazy guy anyways yeah and it's and they were shooting the promo that ufc always does where they zoom in on the challenger first and then like the and this is for a fight that happens next month then they zoom out and it's sean strickland and then he acts like he's shooting him with a gun and shit and all of a sudden Sean Strickland decides to ask a kid who's sitting in the seats behind him to move, which (laughs) at that point, then he decides to jump over the fucking chairs and start a brawl at a pay-per-view for UFC. Dog, you got a month left. Dude, yeah, that's ridiculous. Can you you imagine how great that advertising was? Yeah. Calm down, Derek. Oh, I think that's ridiculous. I, I do too. I mean, you absolutely pick that kid up and use him as a weapon. One hundred percent. This is Gaza, and you just throw it at him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jesus uh, so, Christ. So here's the deal. Ugh. How much of that do you think is the UFC saying, "Let's let's make this thing a big deal"? Well, that was the thing. Let's cause... make this next fucking fight card just one of the ones oh, yeah. everybody wants to see. Absolutely. You know? And here's the thing. That's the WWE thing. Exactly. Guess who was asked about seating arrangements after the fight was over? I bet you his name was Dana White. Yeah. And he was. He was asked about it. And they asked him, it's like, who had the shitty idea of putting these two guys right next to him? And Dana was like, I'll tell you who that idiot was. Me. It yep. was my idea. And it was yep. a dumb fucking idea. No, it wasn't. It was no, brilliant. No, that was a fucking genius idea. Absolutely. And they got a ton of press. 100%. And that's exactly what he wanted. And that's so, exactly what no. I'm talking about. It's turning into WWE. Even the punches that were thrown by Strickland looked like you know Rick yeah but all Flair the people punches? that are all the people that are WWE fans you know they know that that shit's fake i mean to an extent this isn't at all yeah so at least you get the realism and the hype yeah it's It's gonna be really weird at the end of the fight if like he finishes him with a leg drop yeah (laughs) (laughs) jumps off the top of the cage (laughs) yeah and he's just like all woozy (laughs) just running around that'd be awesome the guy doesn't tap the ref just lifts one arm and see if it goes down (laughs) and on the third time he's like (laughs) <laughs> he's just sitting there like this <laughs> i love it I i'm love awake it. dricus duplessis is that the guy yes name? yeah yeah uh dricus what Duplessis. a shitty name Duplessis. yeah i can't remember how you pronounce gotta be it, french i think that's what you get if you take too much yeah, ag1 a frog. yeah that's what yeah, that's what happens you take too much ag1 <laughs> you get yep. dricus duplessis that's if you od t- on ag1 right. Uh, but last but certainly not least. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell to make you go limp. 100. I love it. <laughs> yes, that's exactly that's awesome. what it is. That's why my wife yells that at me. Drink is <laughs> Yeah. Aw. <laughs> not again. Oh, shit. Uh, but my favorite thing that I saw over the last week, uh, and I don't know if this was an old thing, but it was uh, something I saw on Twitter, which I loved. Yeah. Uh, but a man dressed as Mr. Larson from Happy Gilmore with the nail in the side of his like helmet. <laughs> I love that. And dude. he completed a challenge that requires you to golf 18 holes, eat 18 hot dogs, and chug 18 beers. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, that let guy's let my the, hero. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> 
I right. love that guy. I, I cannot tell you. Did he I, have on a t-shirt that says guns don't kill people? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it was the orange yes, shirt with the hard yeah. hat and everything. That is awesome. Oh, it was great. I saw the picture of it and I'm like, that's fucking fantastic. But then that I actually. Is so badass. But dude. I actually thought about the challenge itself. Obviously the 18 holes of golf, not that, not that big of a deal, but 18 beers <sighs> like in, I mean, think about that. 18 beers in like three hours. That's oh. kind of that's kind of challenging, but then fuck you, you. Have, you've never been to my house on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> that's easy. Okay, and then you that's have a to, nooner. Yeah, and, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But then you have to eat eighteen fucking okay, hot dogs. So the eighteen hot dogs are going to kind of offset how fucked up you'd get on eighteen beers. too. Yeah, that's true. Because you're eating a hot dog a, a, a hole, hole, you're drinking a beer a hole. My question is: Are these like? the tiny little fucking Nathan's hot dogs that you get. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like, sure. they're not, they're just like little, yeah. or are they the fucking quarter pound quick no, trip no. beefers? They're just the regular hot dogs that, you know, like the are hot dog eating competition. Are they cooked? Yeah. I would yeah. hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, you'd think cut. so. I think I want to try this. <laughs> Okay. I think this is awesome. I think it'd like be, this is it, where do we do this? It definitely would be a challenge. Oh Let's shit! Let's fucking miniature sign up. Golf. You should do that for miniature golf. Oh god. Oh yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. I, I, I want to do it in regular golf. I'm way better at regular golf no, than I am at miniature. He wants to throw up in the woods, not exactly. on the concrete. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Dude, can if we? If you put, throw up in the 18th hole, you don't get your be, puke back. Yeah. That would be a really interesting hangover. Oh yeah, because I don't know if you'd have like a nitrate hangover <laughs> from the hot dogs worse than the booze. You I know what I mean? I see something sponsored by laughing on the sidelines oh, soon I occurring. Love it. I think this is awesome. I mean, Christmas is not supposed to be that uh, that cold outside. We might be able to talk somebody we into could it. Even, we could even do nine holes and you nine, know, hot, nine, dogs nine and hot dogs, nine beers, nine holes. Oh, yeah, oh, if God. you want to half ass it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I'm known for. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be a great killer. And then after yeah. that nine hours of poker <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound too hard i think we finally caught the half-ass killer we did he's here he's here dressed up as a fucking reindeer yep anyways that is the uh, headlines for this week now we get to move on to the fun every single monday i uh, send out a monday fun day post uh, where you guys get to participate and uh, make your suggestions for uh, our segments for this week's yes. episode. and we had a fucking shitload man Really? Um, oh God! People fucking listen to this shit. Absolutely, there was so many, and it and there was a lot of good ones. I saved a couple of them. Obviously, we wanted to. This is the Christmas episode. We wanted to get as many Christmas ones as we could. Uh, but thank you guys so very much for participating in it. Uh, it really does make it a lot more fun to have you guys part of the show and give you a shout out. So look for that every Monday. It's a lot of fun, and we're gonna kick this off with "Never Have I Ever." Woo! I like this uh, because we get to you know figure out uh, a little bit about you, you fun guys that I uh, have on the show. Uh, but we're gonna kick this off with the first "Never Have I Ever." This one was one that I thought of my uh, by, by another video on TikTok. Uh, but never have I ever vindictively pissed on something. If not, would you? I I have not. Okay. Um, would I? If. If my old boss passes away, <laughs> I'm going to the viewing. <laughs> I'm not waiting until they dig the grave. No. And it's after the 18 beers, 18 hot dogs, and 18 holes. Right at the viewings. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm feeling that, that she's floating. <laughs> that's so god awful. They call that the dead man's float. Yeah. That's, is that what they do? Oh, that's I, all right. I've never vindictively pissed on anything, I don't think. Yeah. Your Maybe. wife? Nah. No, okay. That'd but I did weird. piss on a maintenance shed at the WSU baseball game one time, and I got kicked out. Because <laughs> there was... It, dude, it, it's a chain link fence. Like, there's no privacy. That's I was the just worst like, shed I really ever. have yeah. to pee so bad. You, could have, you wouldn't have picked any other shed? Oh, no, and then they kicked me out, and then I just stood on the other side of the chain link <laughs> fence, and all my friends were right there. We just still hung out, though. It was very stupid. Uh, but it, that wasn't vindictive. It was just I was very drunk and I just needed to pee. Yeah, uh, like I, I'm I don't know. I oh, they also took my beer bong from me before <laughs> we went in that day. I forgot about that. They go and it was a two o'clock game on a Tuesday. Yeah, and they were like, "This is not going to happen." Here. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Fuck." Well, all right. Wichita State baseball is, as far as I know, 
the only college baseball stadium to where if you are in the outfield hi- outfield hill, mm-hmm. you can bring in your own booze yeah. as long as it's plastic bottles and pla- er, and cans. And right, cans. right. So, Dude, those security guards are fucking dicks. <laughs> they are. They are dicks. I mean, yeah. I deserve to be kicked out for that, of course. <laughs> but other than that, dude, they suck. That's why we stopped going. Yeah. Like, we used to take a huge group of us and go to every single game. We just quit going. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever vindictively pissed on anything. I've never pissed on a grave. I have accidentally pissed in the corner by my toilet because I was super drunk. But uh, <laughs> I've never done that. I have. Derek's wife had to clean it up. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> yeah. Unless she didn't know about it. It's still there. Uh-oh. Uh But no, I, I've never I've never vindictively pissed on something. I don't I think just, I have either. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know. I just. Don't I would want to know the person that asked this question if they've ever vindictively pissed on something. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent guarantee. Oh yeah. I wonder what it was. Uh, I mean, like everybody's like gravestones and pants. shit. Like my neighbor's dog <laughs> kept barking until I just gave it a bath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a the, golden shower. The neighbor's for the golden retriever. The neighbor's dog keeps on coming over and shitting in your front yard, so you go over, drop trow, yeah. and shit in their yard. The I dog's like doing that thing. Dude, like, the more I think about this, <laughs> I trying know, to bite the stream. I God. know there's been a vindictive piss somewhere. I just don't remember. Yeah, I don't either. Fuck. Alcohol had to have been involved. Yeah, now I really, dude, I'm gonna lay in bed and think about this for hours yeah. tonight. Uh, Who asked that question? You uh, didn't nobody. Put it down. No, that was uh, it. Was another uh, podcast channel that oh. that uh, is very very famous. You stole it. Yeah. What a dick. Uh, but anyways, uh, next one. Never have I ever. This comes in from Ian Smoke PW. He wants to know. Never have I ever told your wife or your girlfriend that you were their Christmas gift. I do that every day. No shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> every fucking yeah. day. Yeah. I wake up and I just look at her and go, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I do that. Yeah. I do that after sex. Uh, my wife. <laughs> I say I'm sorry after sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. As I'm coming. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> my wife's love language is receiving gifts. I guess gifts and time or something like that. Gifts and dick. Yeah. So now I I learned how to wrap my dick every single day of the week. Good for and you. I, I don't think I've ever told her that I was the gift for Christmas. I didn't fucking have to. <laughs> <laughs> She is fucking waiting for boxing Bitch day. better know better. Uh, She's like, I can't wait till the 26th. Yeah. So, no. I'm returning this shit. I don't think I have, but I think I gave her, like, I don't remember. Now, I've always bought her something. Yeah. yeah. I'm too disappointing. I, uh,. I, I never have. I've never told my, my wife. I mean, even if, even like jokingly, uh, I have to be on my best behavior. Have you seen my wife? She's good Dude, looking and cool. The problem is, is she could cut me to the fuck. Like, she would be like, your average size dick is my present. Thanks. You know what I mean? Like, there's just things she could just easily say that would fuck that. Like, I'm just not enough of like a, an asshole to be like, hey, yes. hey, babe. It's, it's probably more of a stocking stuffer yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. well yeah we're the little junior stockings but i don't if like like i would love to just wrap myself under the tree naked <laughs> yeah. let your kids come and open it they're gonna be the best part they're my stepkids fuck them they're gonna have to help wrap so it. they'd be like what the fuck is this giant gift and then i'd just be passed out drunk in the fucking i don't know box i guess <laughs> I like to think naked just with a with a little paper. little bow on my weenie. Yeah, don't don't That'd get in a awesome. box. Just uh, me and Derek will help wrap you, and you'll no, just be no. laying. Scotty there. will help wrap you. <laughs> I like it. That's awesome. Uh, just a lot of duct tape. It'd be fucking fun. Yes, and then uh, I'll put oven mitts on my hands so I can't unwrap myself when yes. I have to pee. Yes, and then I'll vindictively piss on myself. <laughs> it's like fucking coming full circle, dude. It I is, love it. I love it. This is awesome. Uh, next one uh, comes in from Ghostly Noob from Twitter. He wants to know: Never have I ever farted while sitting on Santa's lap. No, but now I have a fucking goal. <laughs> yeah. That's all. I bet I did when I was a kid. I probably shit on his lap. I know I, I did. Kid. Oh, you yeah. Know what I, I mean? Oh, I absolutely, absolutely Dude, shit my You pants. have to understand, I was born in 1976. Those Santa Clauses were fucking terrifying. Oh, yeah. And my mom was taking me to the mall to see some fucking 
fat alcoholic that dressed up as Santa. Yeah. You know, people were still smoking. My mom probably had a cigarette in her mouth when she was putting me on Santa's lap. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was shitting myself for sure. I don't don't think, like, any more, I don't think I've seen a bad mall Santa in a really long time. No, it's been a while. They all look like actual Santa Clauses, but when we were fucking kids, oh, Jesus Christ. The bunny, the Easter bunny was the most terrifying. Oh, God, scared the shit out of me. Are we, is, is Wichita, Kansas the only one that does that at the at the mall have, have a so. big I ass pink have a Easter of, bunny? No, I bet they have a bunch. No, of them uh, a no bunch of, they did yeah. it in Illinois. Okay. okay, then that makes me feel a little bit better. I thought that was something that we only we did, and I'm no. like, the only, God. The only thing that we do now is have malls. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's the only thing that we do. <laughs> we only kind of technically have we have two, but not really. We have a mall and a drive-in. We're going backwards. That's true. So we have a mall and a trailer park that's disguised as a mall because their fucking electricity shut off all that's the time, true. and the water got shut off the other day yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, go. uh, <laughs> good, good stuff. Luckily, I've just been shitting in the food court. <laughs> yeah, vindictively. Vind- yeah, like a vindictive it. shit. I have yeah. done that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, I have taken a vindictive shit or two. You have. You just talked about it. You mm-hmm. wouldn't flush. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, next one. Never have I ever. This comes in from Nathan Blackwell. Fucking oh. Nathan. And it is also his birthday very, very soon. So oh, happy, happy, birthday, happy birthday, Nathan Blackwell. Nathan. Yeah. Your parents fucked to make you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I hope you imagine that. My birthday is very soon, too. I wonder what his birthday is. I don't know. I, Why don't I, you put that shit in here? I don't know. I just, uh, yeah, he didn't. I don't know if he even told me, but it doesn't matter. Happy uh, birthday, Yeah, happy Nathan. birthday, Nathan. Uh, but he wants to know, never have I ever dressed up as Santa or an elf for foreplay? No, I've only dressed up as a reindeer. For that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? That same outfit you got yeah, on? There is nothing under this, bud. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can't I thought about that. it. I was like, I, I'm drinking Jameson right now. Oh, yeah. And several of them. If I get pulled over on the way home. Yeah. Well, that's going to be a wild <laughs> stint in jail. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're going to be given a lot of hoof jobs. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. For sure. I mean, if you put the hoofs on, you don't really. I don't think that's gay. It's like, hey, look. Where's white... JP when we need him? I don't think hoof jobs are gay. I, are they? I kind of And then I thought of something the other day, too. If two dudes are in a relationship and one of them says, I'm sick of your shit. What does he mean? <laughs> Man, I don't know. You're gonna uh, damn, you're gonna I need answers. Given a hoof job and be like, oh, it's a white Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Dude, but- my hoofs would be all stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> like they'd be all fucking real hooves oh. when I got out of jail. Oh, the yeah. good news is that would be easier to write with a pen with a <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. And then I could leave little stamps in the <laughs> snow. <laughs> Real hoof stamps. Oh, I love it. That's shit. awesome. Well, happy birthday, Nathan. I do have a little white tail on the back here. So oh, I believe cut it. a hole under it. I fucking believe it. Uh, next one, or I'm sorry, last one. This yeah, one happy comes birthday, in. Happy birthday, Nathan. From, yeah, that was fun. Uh, it comes in from Charles. I believe it's. Uh, is it a say? It's a say. <laughs> Fine. It's, no, uh, it's that sounds Charles. like a gay Mexican gang Charles. member. <laughs> Charles a say. <laughs> An a say. <laughs> you got a problem, I say? <laughs> I'll fuck you up, bro. <laughs> Charles a say. I Maybe it's Charles a say. I think it's a say. I, I like it's a say. say. I uh, like that too. A say, a say, or a say. Whatever it is. Thanks, Charles. Yeah. Uh, but he wants to know never have I ever told Santa I wanted something inappropriate for Christmas. I don't think I have. Uh, uh, I have. I mean, it was inappropriate to my parents' bank account. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually did this. Uh, I there was a there was a, a line from uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, uh, oh. the movie, and I did not know what it meant. But uh, he, Hello. Robin Williams, asked his son, "What do you want for your birthday?" And he said, "A stripper." And he and then he said two strippers and nice. and then he just said a party. Well, I didn't know what a stripper was, and I was like maybe seven or eight years old. And nice. Santa asked me what I want for Christmas, and I told him a stripper. Fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> That's I actually have more respect for you right now. That's so weird. I did that. <laughs> That's so awesome. Not knowing what it was, but uh, yeah, never got that. Stripper, of, by the way, but you did get a printer. <laughs> <I did. laughs> <laughs> because, which was the next best thing <laughs> one yeah because right. transsexual robin williams told me to <laughs> yeah. i love it that's awesome dude. Yeah, there you go uh how about you guys 
I don't think so. No, no. I haven't. I don't, I don't think I have. I don't even remember. Like, I'm sure I did, and I know there's probably pictures of it, but I think I was super little when I stopped going to see Santa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I always yeah. I always had, like, major respect. You know what I mean? I was like, this is the dude. Like, he's like, I'm fucking on the good list or whatever, and I'm, yeah. Because, like, yeah. Mo- you figure the average kid finds out at, like, 9 or 10 years old, I would think, and... You probably I your, was fourteen. Er, your earliest memory is probably what, like five or six. So you really only got like three or four Santa visits that might be in your brain. Yeah, uh, the earliest memory, memory, yeah. earliest yeah, memory I have was three. Uh, but my memory is fucking weird. Was that whenever you were left at the fire station? <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was whenever my parents were divorced. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but no, uh, I. Uh, oh, my parents I, I waited until I was fifteen, like real parents. Oh, good for <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking parents, Jesus! They just gave up early. Yeah, you're like my it's parents. Like, well, having a kid didn't work. See ya, bitch. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! Uh, my parents sucks. let me knew I was the reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like yeah. a real mom and dad. My dad. Oh. My dad literally told me when I was sixteen years old. He was like, "Well." It's been fun and it's been real, but it hadn't been real fun. <laughs> and told me to go live with my mom. And when I was 17, she had to sign my lease because I had a full time job and I moved into my own apartment. Wow. Yeah. Jesus. Fuck you, millennials. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving a lumber truck at 17 years old, 40 plus hours a week. And Jesus, just, I had my own apartment and I'd have parties every single day and we just smoked a ton of weed and drank shitloads of natural light. As it was you, great. As you should. Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, but did you guys ever tell anybody else that you wanted something inappropriate for Christmas? I tell my wife every day. It doesn't have to be Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, show me that booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't have to be Christmas okay, at fair, all. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Well, that is never have Unless you want to answer. Did you want to answer? No, I got it. Oh, good. Okay, good. okay. Uh, Are you sure? Yeah. You don't have anything? No, man. I've, I've never... Yeah, no, I just I just haven't uh, ever ever asked for anything inappropriate. What did you ask for for this year? This year mm-hmm. to leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not dressed in Santa clothes? <laughs> What's going on, cause dude? Because like, look, he, he we're, I have on a fucking reindeer outfit. That guy looks like an asshole all the There's time. There's antlers but it's even on my shirt. Today. Look at that. Yeah, I, I, this is this is I like that. This is That's John awesome. McClane. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. I fucking yeah, love yeah, it. it's like a weird dimension but who's, thing going on. Whose right. face yeah. is that? That's, that is yeah, not exactly. John no, McClane's it's, face. It's, it totally that's, is. Uh, it's Hunter Biden. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually Hunter Biden. Show the fucking camera. That is Hunter Biden on the front of that fucking shirt. Bro. Pretty close. It is. Uh, <laughs> that looks like someone drew a caricature of John McClane. <laughs> yeah, like it. It, it is. Uh, but anyways, that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. I fucking love these. Uh, we are going to kick this off with another one I found. Uh, first one, where do you draw the line? What is the age you should stop sitting on Santa's lap? <laughs> I, I would like to answer this. <laughs> okay. It's uh, it's like a three-part answer. <laughs> okay. If you're hot as fuck and you're 42 years old and you're a chick and you just think it's like, ooh, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No age. No age whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Santa's still going to have a little chubby when you sit on his fucking lap. Yeah. If you look like me and Derek. <laughs> Hot as fuck. 42 and, years and of age. And your mom started buying you jeans in the husky section at Dillard's when you were 12. <laughs> or You got to stop. You got to fucking stop at that age right there. If you look like Scotty and you're one of his elves forever <laughs> forever that's it yeah it's no big deal oh that's uh hey man that's a i pretty, think that's a pretty well thought out answer because i've never read any of these questions because you didn't send them to me no it's fine i think that's a very very good answer actually i thought so uh hot chicks can always sit on fucking santa's lap they, they can, always can they can do forever. whatever they can do whatever the fuck they want i would like them to sit on my lap <laughs> i'm fat everybody would yeah uh, but yeah, I, I am going to default to Steve's answer because I think it's that's the best fucking answer. Spot There's on. Not a better answer. I mean, if you're a kid, though, like it's the same question of when do you stop believing in Santa Claus? Uh, no, actually, I think it's earlier. If you're a fucking 10 year old. So kid, don't I do have a 23 year old <laughs> biological daughter, a 17 year old stepson and a 15 year old stepdaughter. And I signed them all up for texts from Santa this year. <laughs> 
And all of them have been like, who the fuck keeps texting me? <laughs> it's every day at 6 p.m. My 15-year-old daughter is convinced that she has a stalker that's oh, texting her. What no. do they text? He, he, it's just Santa texting out stuff like, I've heard you're on the good list and da 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 da. Oh, you've got to give me this number. No, dude. It's called, it's called textfromsanta.com. Oh, God. And it was 25 bucks, and it's the best fucking 25 bucks I've ever spent in my entire life. Nice. And you can send custom messages too. Oh, And great. like a picture of the house and shit. And I'm telling you, my 15 year old daughter is going to be in a fucking mental institution <laughs> <laughs> by the time Christmas is over. She is convinced that someone is stalking her. <laughs> and like, she's like, "Saying it's not real." I was like, "It looks pretty real to me." <laughs> like, that's our that's our fucking house. Like, you need to mind your mom. Oh wow! Uh, and then the 23 year old daughter is just like, "What the fuck?" And I'm pretty sure she blocked the number, which that's kind of fucked. Is up. Is it that, 25 bucks a person? Or is no, it no, no, it was 25, 25 it was 25 bucks for three kids and then I paid an extra like $15 to do like five custom <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like what's the fucking what's the uh cameo thing yeah. where Santa will be like ho 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 hey Allison <laughs> your your dad tells me that you didn't do good in school today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, it's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my entire life, and it's so hard to keep a straight face. <laughs> She's just so convinced that somebody's just stalking her. You're going to do this to your wife, aren't you? I mean, if I hadn't told her about it, I, I wasn't. Would've. I wasn't For looking sure. at you. Oh, me? I was looking at oh, you, wow. Derek. Man, oh, I'm dude, not, I think it's so too amazing. late this year, but no, next year. I don't think year. so. You, can, you still yeah, got a week. Yeah, but I want to really enjoy this. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's uh, it's amazing. I did. Uh, there's Here, I'm a looking it up. A buddy of mine that I did do something fucked up to. Text textfromsanta.com. Last chance. Not to a get sponsor. On Santa's yeah. good list. Not a sponsor, but that I sounds mean, great. Sponsor St. Jude, so you get that. Blo- you get, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, there was a kid that did. You know who that kid Conrad is? He has alopecia. <clears throat> no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's he he's an open mic. He's a comic. Okay. And he came and did the open mic at the Looney Bin one time, and I was hosting it. And after his set, I go, "Hey, everybody, keep it going for the kid from the St. Jude commercial." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That was the first time I'd ever oh, met him, and we've been terrible. friends. We've been friends ever since. Oh, so <laughs> anyway, sorry, I had to throw no that problem. in there. Thanks. I uh, I had uh, a guy that I knew that had fucked with me. And uh, he was it Scotty? <laughs> no, but his nickname Scooter. Oh, oh <laughs> shit! And I was bartender at the Oasis. This has been like six years ago. And this fucking homeless guy comes in, and he's yeah. like, "I want to start trying to do comedy." And I was just down at uh, Emerson Biggins, and Scooter said that that you're the guy I need to talk to. Oh, and shit. I'm fucking. I can't get away from this guy. I'm bartending. He's sitting right at my bar, right by my well. That's awesome. And so I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> so for years, I've held on to this. And I'm like, I'm going to get him back. Dude, so this. I, this is what I ended up doing. I went to like seven or eight car dealership websites. And I put in his phone number and that he was interested in a car. <laughs> oh, not, my God. oh, dude, they don't stop. I know. Not the most expensive car, but not the least expensive car. That's like awesome. a believable car. Yeah. Yeah. And it just so happened to work out. I didn't know this. He just bought his daughter a car. <laughs> oh, nice. So he's like, these fuckers are relentless. Like, it was like three weeks. <laughs> they would not leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this twice. I did this to another guy. And I'll never forget, uh, it was an old boss of mine, and I was standing, and my phone rings, and I look at the number on my phone, I'm like, what the fuck? And I read the number, and I go, I have no idea who that is. And that guy goes, it's McGavick. (laughs) And I'm I'm like, what? The Nissan dealership, it's McGavick. And I'm like, how the fuck do you know that? Because they won't quit calling me ever since you put my number in there. I'm like, there's no fucking way. And I answer the phone, I'm like, hi, this is so-and-so with McGavick Nissan. We just want to make sure your service went okay. I'm like... (laughs) <laughs> it went great. Right? <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. That's, That's an amazing prank because That's... those fuckers don't stop. I know. They do not stop. That's yes. awesome. It's true. <laughs> yeah, I love it. All right, anyways, moving on. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to the next one is uh, from Twitter. Um, Marcos. Uh, Charez. Is it Charez? I think I it's think so. Uh, 
this guy is awesome, Derek. I love how it's just profile pic well, in parentheses. Because it's a, a reminder for me. Oh, Because okay. this guy's profile picture is the, is the episode whenever you put on the fucking horse head for horse talk and put the uh, headphones on the yeah. fake horse ears. Yeah. That is his profile picture. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, so this yeah. has got to be a horse question. <laughs> it could be. Uh, but no, he, he does want to know at what age should you stop giving your kids presents? In human years or horse years? Horse years. Or horse years. Okay. <clears throat> what is a horse year? I like to think that's three furlongs for a year. Huh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, well, yeah, God, I don't have kids happily. <laughs> um, so, but I would say, I'd say once they're out of house, unless they're they live at home forever, then I would say as soon as they're out of high school, like all right, that well, that was fun. Yeah, I, man, I don't know what the correct answer is, because yeah, I'm I'm gonna go I, I, I'm gonna go with like fifteen. Then you get them a car for Christmas or something like that. What the f- you rich bastard? Fuck yeah. off. <laughs> a piece of shit car. You know, the, like one of the ones that you were trying to get. It's not for Royal Dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you got it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Love Adam Sandler. All right. Well, I have, yeah. a, I have a 15-year-old, 17-year-old, and a 23-year-old, and we still buy them gifts every single year. But this year, I think we're going to take them snow skiing. Oh, I'm going to snowboard. But um, I think that we were going to take them snow skiing instead yeah. of the gifts but we'll buy them their gifts are going to be like ski bibs and shit like that and then at the end of it we'll be like here's the trip where are you, you going know? where are you going uh steamboat oh so, fuck yeah that's a it's a long way away but it's it is worth but it. it's pretty cool and it's the if you don't stop clicking that fucking pan I'm i throw i you. just i have a nervous tick that yeah, was does, actually i was flicking my nuts does, does ricky <laughs> um, does ricky the dragon still run that place i have i think so okay. good yeah yeah they're running they're running chinese heroin out of there uh, nice i um i i think that that's i i don't I mean, my dad still gets me a gift. I'm 46. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I, like, I, yeah, I, I don't I think, think it stops. I think, I think a phone call's enough. Yeah, I did, yeah. I, I did, too. I did, too. Fuck I, off. Don't tell him. I like to I like to get my parents gifts. Like, that's fun. Yeah, that's cool. I, I think you oh. kind of have to do that. Yeah, I don't do that, um, but I just receive the gifts. Well, yeah, no. your dad fucking no, up I left. Get, I get my dad, uh, like, a $200 gift card to to the scotch and sirloin or like red rock or something like that sure. and then i give him a uh, hundred and fifty dollars worth of uh hickory farms he likes that okay yeah shit so yeah fair what if he doesn't <laughs> he's just like <laughs> all well, right and then he's been lying for years suck, right <laughs> no. like he's just keeping it going I oh love it. i That's love awesome. this he just fucking throws it in the trash <laughs> as soon as i leave like a dick <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. I still got some left over from last Christmas. I love it. That's awesome. Don't mean to bring it up, but one of the coolest things that my grandparents would do for Christmas every every single fucking year, and it just makes me think about it, was they would get us, like, remember how Polo Cologne was, like, oh, yeah. the shit back in, like, the early 90s and mm-hmm. late 80s? Still can be. Uh, every single Christmas, all of the grandkids got a fucking bottle of like polo that nobody ever wore. And so That's we just, badass, we dude. just got fucking boxes of, of polo cologne in our fucking bathrooms. <laughs> when I was 12, my grandmother got me a jean vest and <laughs> put a puff paint peace sign on the back of it. Fuck yeah. And my dickhead mom, God rest her soul, made me put that fucking thing on and take pictures and send it to her. And I was just like, dude, this is not like my grandma was just like, fucking arts and crafts that's christmas <laughs> that's great and then i was that, that is a very true story it was a it was a sleeveless jean vest from like 1973 or oh, some that's shit beautiful you look like and you're it in had the warriors a pink peace sign on the back of it <laughs> in the little puff paint you remember you could buy it off tv or whatever oh, yeah. and it yeah. just puff up oh yeah <sighs> you know what you should have done fucking... the next year you should have re-gifted it back to her <laughs> <laughs> just like yeah i don't oh, she, you already have one of these dude, she was literally the sweetest human being that's ever walked the face of the earth so i couldn't be a dick about it even as a kid but i was just like what the fuck and the whole time my mom is just laughing hysterically like literally crying she's laughing so fucking hard because she knows great she knows she's making us wear that shit for two minutes for sure uh next one we gotta get moving uh next one comes in from brady harrington brady this is a fucking great question especially to ask derek 
But the question is, how much money is too much money to spend on a spouse or partner for Christmas? Hmm. It just how about this? It how about your fucking friends? It de- it depends. Like, well, that too. Because I mean, see, like you, you see these car commercials and like <laughs> like bring home a car. Yeah. Uh, God damn! If I did that, my wife would be pissed. Oh, yeah. yeah you know sure. what I mean? Yeah. Like one hundred percent. Did you see that? Did you see that Facebook reel where the dude's like he brought his wife or bought his wife a Lexus and she's like what the fuck like this is a huge deal and then the neighbor's like hey where'd you get the car i just loaned you five thousand dollars last week you don't even have a job like dude it was fucking hilarious uh and that's way more realistic (laughs) yeah yeah i I just show up with a car with a bow as a surprise i'm living in that car my budget is more of a happy honda days situation (laughs) than a fucking lexus to remember situation i feel like the lexus commercials or kind of like this generation's Grey Poupon commercials. <laughs> Mine's yes. more of you a know? Fiesta Navidad. Yes, <laughs> right? yes. exactly, exactly. Uh, but no, like, okay, so how much How much are you? would you be cool to spend on your wife? Depending on the situation, obviously. Around, probably around 800 bucks. Ah, oh, man, shit. <laughs> Fuck, I feel uh, like such a piece of shit. I like to buy my wife a trip, so I'd say five grand. Because I'd want to take her to Italy or something like that. Fuck you guys. You I guys. like to think yeah. it's just a solo trip. Like, like you're not going. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, I just send her. Like, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to stay home and play poker and have my friends over. <laughs> oh. But she can go eat you're like, whatever. You're like, guess who's going Italy. to Gaza? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need this helmet. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. It, I think it just kind of depends on what. You, what have you guys talked about? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like what? I don't know. I think there's. It's it's. But weird. I always I always spend between five and five hundred and a thousand. Okay, that's sure. a little bit more my speed, right around the five. Yeah. Because uh, we have an agreement between the two of us, which is we don't buy each other Christmas gifts. But I always end up yeah. buying her something anyway. Yeah. Your wife always says, "Don't buy me anything," <laughs> and then the fucking you, the second that you don't, she's like, "The fuck." You didn't fucking buy me anything? Yeah, that's it. And it's like, oh, you didn't shit. get me anything. Yeah, you're right. It's like, yeah, but you didn't get me anything. <laughs> Fair. It's a bad deal. Ah, uh, yeah. But anyways. All right, uh, next question. This comes in from... I Sh- only buy Mike Baldwin Christmas gifts. Of course, because Mike Baldwin's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but next one comes in from John. I want to say it's either Wallen or Waylon. What do you think? I think it's Waylon. I think it's Assay. Oh, it's Assay. 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 It's no. John Waylon Assay. Okay, We're sounds good. Yeah, it. they're brothers. Uh, he wants to know how long does a trip have to be before you choose to fly <laughs> instead of drive? I, I want to hear Steve's answer on this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am not. I know not L.A. Okay. Yeah. My father is a corporate pilot and has been my entire life, and he is convinced that no airplane will ever go down, especially if I'm on it. I am convinced that every airplane that I will ever get on will go down (laughs) as soon as I get on it. Uh, Having said that, I've flown back and forth to Iraq and Afghanistan and all over Europe many, many times, but the more I flew, the more I hated it. Mm -hmm. And so now I will drive for two days to get to L.A. (laughs) like it's fucking nothing. Yeah. And my favorite thing to do, this is my absolute, if you're looking for a romantic getaway, take the fucking train Yeah, from Wichita, well, Newton, Kansas at three o'clock in the morning Mm -hmm. and get a roomette. You can't fucking spend the extra money, dude. Fuck me. (laughs) And go to Chicago. It's a 12 hour trip. You get a roomette where you can just bang your wife the whole entire time. <laughs> wow. And, and, dude, trains, they let you bring on guns and booze and bombs and all kinds of shit. Perfect. They don't check anything. That's so great. You just bring a cooler full of food and booze and shit like that for your 12-hour trip, and it's amazing. Like, oh, it's fucking amazing. I like And that is – and I've taken the train multiple times from L.A. to, to Wichita or Newton, whatever the fuck you want to call it. You've even ran a couple. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. On the train. There was a bunch of Amish people. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's uh, that's my preferred. I don't like flying. I will fly. Yeah. I 100% will. <sighs> but I would rather not. I'm, I'm the exact same as you, Steve. I, I fucking hate, hate, hate flying it. so badly. Uh, I have to fly next month. Uh, we're going to Florida. And if I oh, had, if I had no. my fucking way. Scary. 
I would be driving the whole fucking way there. I enjoy the drive. To I Florida. do too. I've driven to Florida. I've driven to Miami multiple times. I, I go love th- it. I want to go through the fucking Smoky Mountains, yep. dog. I no, wanna, I like it. That's I, actually yeah. a good drive. I've That's been a told. way better drive than going to LA. Oh, absolutely. Because uh, you just so drive yeah. through New Mexico and it's like a desert the D- whole fucking way. That is the worst fucking drive yeah, ever. It sucks. New it really sucks. So, and anyways, I've done it multiple times. I would much rather drive coast to coast. The only way I'm getting a plane is if I absolutely have to. How about you, Derek? Depends on the trip, really, but I would say about 11 hours. 11 hours? Yeah, I'll drive to Chicago. Uh, that's about as far as I want to drive. Really? Once you, yeah, once you start getting into the teens, I'm like, eh, let's, I, let's see how much a flight costs. Flying over Greenland is the bumpiest, scariest. Why holy f- shit. Why well, the fuck and would then, you want to do and that? And then also flying back toward the U.S. and flying through the jet stream is fucking insane because I, you're over the ocean yeah and all of a sudden the plane's just going bam 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 like uh, it's i'm gonna I have, hate it i'm gonna have an entire it. trip over the ocean <laughs> so, when which april where are you going japan oh dude that'll be badass so i'm flying that'll over the pacific so the entire time oh. well that's all right that's what well, you're gonna what you're gonna fly from probably here to la here to right? chicago actually and then chicago to japan what Shut the fuck up i'm dead serious why why would you do that that's what it was that's what the route was it's a two-hour flight to la yeah uh, that's longer than that no it's yeah. that's like I've two maybe it. three it's like three or four wow no because spirit flies every single day from kansas city to la and it's no more You're than two and a half spirit hours. It's actually a pretty good flight, <laughs> and it's sixty five bucks. Here's the deal: dude. if you pay sixty five dollars to tell fly, I take that back. You kind there. of expect the plane to go down, yeah. And then you're like, I paid for this. That's, then, that's all right. I still think I got my money's worth on the way we made down, it to Minneapolis. On the way down, you know? you're vindictively pissing all over the plane, <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. I am vindictively pissing on the fucking flight attendant at that point for sure. You're Jalen Hurts in it in the back for sure. Yeah, yeah that's the route. Chicago and then Chicago on. Wow. Okay. Jesus Christ. We're gonna move on. Uh, next one comes in from Chase Golden. He wants to know where you... No, did. we skipped one. No, we didn't. No. Oh, shit. Yeah. Never mind. I didn't mark it. Uh, Sorry, He John. wants to know, where do you draw the line? Uh, Chase Golden wants to know, how many inflatables is too many for your front yard? What fucking trailer park do you live in, Doc? One. One. <laughs> the answer is one. You don't put shit in your fucking yard. If you want to put up Christmas like... Uh, lights and shit like that's acceptable but if you're one of those people that got like inflatables in your front yard jesus christ yeah plus they don't like that doll they say it scares the kids (laughs) yeah exactly Uh, you put an inflatable in my front yard you put vicky in the front yard whatever yeah uh i don't think it was me i think i showed up later and found and no you put it up by the tree oh maybe i did (laughs) yeah yeah it's probably probably true i gotta be honest with you this one hits real close to home oh yeah my kids have put a fucking trampoline in our front yard. What? What? Yeah, we have a pool in our backyard and concrete, so there's no yard. And my wife was like, well, our daughter's in competitive cheer, so she needs a trampoline to try her acrobatic tricks or whatever. That fucking child has been on that trampoline one time. <laughs> and my wife has been on that trampoline one time as well over thanksgiving and now she's been at the chiropractor almost every single fucking day <laughs> since that's a true story she fucked up her neck so bad that she can't like turn her neck to the left at all without looking <laughs> like <laughs> like she's a quadriplegic she's just like <laughs> she, she has to turn her whole body from the waist up that's fucking great and i'm like okay we're like we're getting rid of this thing yeah. like this this is fucking ridiculous this is a piece of shit it's gross we're, we're we're done and she was like we're not fucking selling that thing. <laughs> i was like i wasn't gonna sell it i was just gonna give it away <laughs> i uh, agree we're not dude, selling. <laughs> yeah but i'm serious like this has been a fight since i don't know it's been august i think wow yeah and her ex-husband is the one that bought the fucking trampoline and i like the dude a lot actually i really like the guy a lot but that is that is one thing that i do not like about him <laughs> at all so Very i think good. that uh are you talking about like christmas inflatables yes, is that what this that's guy's what the about? whole question is about okay so either either i think you put a hundred of them in your front yard oh god and it looks cool as shit or you put zero 
You put I don't zero. think I don't think you put one. You put zero. Yeah, it's, it's exactly zero. Yeah, but if you put like a shitload of them and it's kind of fun for kids and no. shit like that, I think that's okay. No, I really I, do. I but you kind of make a thing of it. If you got a bunch know? of them, that's like just an invitation for people to go and fuck with your shit. No, I, I think it is. No, I don't think so. I think that's actually kind of fun. It I just. Out. But if you if your only decoration is an inflatable. Oh, you're the poor kid on the block, man. Like, <laughs> that's, that's just it. You're they're just, they're fun bad. to put in other people's yards. They that are. <laughs> they sure I, are. I have done some shit like that. Mm-hmm. All right. And last one. Is we need a giant inflatable dick that we can just put in Scotty's yard one day. <sighs> Fuck. That would be so badass. Nobody dude. would be shocked. We did no. that to my stepdad. We got a beer mug, and it was inflatable. There was no holiday. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he got up to go to work. And whenever he went to work, we went over there and we had taken a fucking big old Sharpie, like a thick Sharpie, and wrote nudie bitches and then put an arrow. <laughs> and by the time he got, or no, it was, we did it the, that night. And the next morning he went to go to work and it was just like blown over. It wasn't. Yeah. Wow. And so he didn't think much of it. And then uh, when he came home from work, the wind had kicked it up and it was perfectly pointing nice. straight That's to great. his house. That's I fucking, love it. That's fucking great. Yeah, I think I think that if Chase Golden was like, if he's arguing with his wife about this right now, I'm on his side to get 200 inflatables in the front yard. Absolutely and if she's not. like, fuck that, they look like white trash, you tell her that she's fucking wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, last one has nothing to do with Christmas, but I thought it was a good question. Kind of does. Uh, where, yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, it doesn't at all. <laughs> Not <laughs> where, even close. Where do you draw the line? This comes in from Cody Duffy. He wants to know, how long does it take to overchew a piece of gum? It Fuck. depends on what gum it is. That's Fruit exactly stripe? right. Yeah. Fruit stripe is two chews. <laughs> <laughs> then you're overchewed for sure. And nobody, nobody who listens to this show probably even knows what, what fruit stripe gum is. Dude, juicy fruit? Three chews. Yes. That's all you get. Yep. Um, 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 and then you're done. Then you're done. Nothing. Spit it the fuck out. Yeah. That's how long I last in sex. Oh, God. Three chews? Three chews. <laughs> Three chews. You're like, My <laughs> wife chews Copenhagen. Oh, so it's, uh, she does fucking chew these little patches, these nicotine patches. Oh, yeah. They're like Xylex. Or Hello, what the or fuck whatever. are those yeah. things? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, you still look like a fucking truck driver. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Wow. And she has a giant nose. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that or not. <laughs> she is Italian. She has a giant nose. She's going to have me killed. I'm going to go with the, the just as in my example, the, the bubble gum, the regular bubble gum that you get, the pink shit or whatever, um, th- zero times. That it's hard as a fucking rock, and it, it tastes disgusting. Dude, do you remember the bubble gum you get in baseball cards? It's still mm. good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that's like the original they there's jaw exercisers now yeah we that's what that was i know 100 percent. it was just like yeah. oh fuck yeah, yeah. Derek, and you lost a tooth in it oh somehow. yeah yeah De- derek and i uh one time we went actually it was whenever we got this very awesome uh baseball card nice. uh we went to go buy baseball cards uh it? yeah mm-hmm. Oh man! If you if you're a new listener and you don't know this inside joke, I do have a nine hundred dollar Walter Payton almost perfect card in my yeah. safe right now. You don't have a Randy McCammon nineteen ninety <laughs> upper deck. That is, I want to get a mustache like that. That's all I want to yeah, do. You think that's is. creepy? <laughs> Look at the back. Oh, that's now I'm hard. Yeah. That's so strange. That's like great. I said, I told him when I opened that and got that card, I opened that and was like, holy shit, <laughs> this picture screens I'm here to fuck kids and play baseball, that's and I true. forgot my mitt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, that and Jerry Sandusky's card were all right. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> uh, but no, I, the, if it's regular bubble gum, uh, spit it the fuck out. If it's like that five gum or whatever, that goes for a while. So, yeah. Uh, how about you, Derek? Like nothing more. Than, no, I don't think any of it more than like five minutes. Yeah, That's I, what the five stands for. If it goes good, five minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I do the Wrigley's, I think, or whatever mm. it is, and the little plastic. Oh, uh, well. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, uh, now we get to move on to a very popular part of the show. This is questions and preguntas, and a lot of these guys are uh, from you. I, I like this because we have quite a few of them this week, and we're going to kick this off. This comes. The first one comes in from Chris Tinarella? Did you just pick everybody with a fucked up last name? 100% this week, man. I did. That's <laughs> I really awesome. did. I was trying to find some new folks, but uh, yeah, you know what? It, it just happened. I like it. Uh, I like but anyways, Chris wants to know, if your life was a porn category, what would it be? Oh, fuck. 
I would be the guy getting ready to leave for work. <laughs> that is... That is what I would be like. All right, honey, I'll see you when I get home. <laughs> like, <laughs> Unknown uh, cuckold. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that's <laughs> God. that's awesome. Uh, uh, I put midget anal gape. That's because I'm short and I get fucked in the ass with my life. Oh, because you get pegged. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I don't. If your life was a porn category, what would it be hmm. for you? Right. I mean, I'm a contractor, <laughs> so I do carpentry. Yeah? Are you the guy yeah. that's coming to my house when <laughs> yes. I go to work? <laughs> I actually do love your wife. She's amazing. <laughs> she is. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's... Uh, I oh, no, there's... Okay, so there's a trailer park porn. That would there be is. Me. There is. Yep, that's me. I heard, sure. I heard there's also, like, narcolepsy porn. Wait, is there is there, like, an angry... Uh, grudge fucking <laughs> your wife really hates you, but she's making you think she's enjoying this category. <laughs> sure. Can I go to that one? Yeah, okay. That's, you. that's my category. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, next question comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants that's to That's not a real name. Yeah, it is. He's actually oh. uh, got quite a few questions that we've read off. But oh, he, nice. Yeah. He wants to know if you were Santa instead of Cole, mm -hmm. what would you give the kids on the naughty list? Mm. Fuck the kids. I would punish the parents because it's probably their fault that those kids are little shits. So I would give both of his parents sub 500 credit scores. <laughs> oh, so my credit score. All right. Thanks. 453. I thought I was doing good. Fuck yeah. off. There you go. That's uh, no, I would give these kids elderly shelter pets. <laughs> wow okay <laughs> you get it for like six weeks and it's dead yeah that thing's gonna fucking die and it pissed all over your house there you go vindictively that's good <laughs> how about you Derek? uh schizophrenia yes oh, perfect maybe one of your other 13 personalities can behave next year that's like, right that's pretty it. good i love that's it. actually pretty good oh great all right next one comes in from caleb hill he wants to know why all of the L's are really short. Scotty? I, I don't know. I mean... I, these you are have elf blood in you. 100%. For sure. These are yeah. my people. These are yeah, my for sure. people. But I think Santa actually treats the elves like Gypsy Rose. Do you know who Gypsy Rose is? Yeah. She's yeah, just got out of prison. Either just got out or getting or ready getting to get out. Or getting out. Uh -huh. yep. I yep. think that Santa Claus just somehow drugs the elves to make them just like only short and only work on toys that's what i really think i think that you just described uh sexually human traffic <laughs> elves but i we drug them and then they think they're having a good time but, but we just not. fuck them right in the ass <laughs> it's so uh i don't know I, why are elves really short mm -hmm. i don't can we find a scientific answer to this? I yeah. Mean, or you can make one up that sounds scientific if you want, because that's kind of what I was hoping you would do. Because they didn't drink enough AG1. <laughs> or they drank too much. That's true. How about that's you, true. Derek? Smoking in the womb. Oh, oh yeah. dude. That's actually pretty fucking good. Stunts your growth, and yeah. that's when you're growing. I think smoking in the womb. That's good. That's lady good. just fucking sitting there in the summer with a skirt on. You just see little puffs of smoke coming out of her veg. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like it's giving smoke signals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> SOS. I'm getting ready to... I'm getting ready to, to really destroy some people's fucking ego here uh -oh. real quick. Why? Uh, the internet says that... <laughs> It says the average male elf is five foot six. <laughs> <laughs> you can my people. That, is, that is that is a real fucking quote that from the me. internet right now. And that's my size. Um, God, man, of course it is. Of course they're my oh, size. Oh shit! Um, I don't know. Big. You want to? You ready to move on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on to the next question. This one comes in from Instagram. This is from Zach Stern. Uh, he wants to know. Awful Christmas pickup lines. So I did um, ask how large, how big are elf penises? And it said 10 to 14 centimeters. <laughs> also accurate. I think that's accurate. So, yeah. I think <laughs> also that's, accurate. Uh, and, that's, and that is, and we know this is real because it's elven biology. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's, it's a real site. <laughs> okay. uh, Fair enough. But let's move on, okay? 
dork. Uh, but yes, Zach Stern again wants to know what are some awful Christmas pickup lines. Do what? Awful Christmas pickup lines. Uh, I almost hooked up with a chick when I was single on Christmas Eve one time. Well, how'd you and get I thought her I was going to like fucking marry her. I met her at Waltz. Uh, oh yeah. Oh no, she was just really desperate because it was Christmas. Oh, and uh, I think she just wanted somebody to take home. Well, sure, that's kind of the, the idea. You know, do you have any pickup lines? Though? Holiday? No, no, oh. there was no lines involved. I just I'm talking I about the question. I just Steve. bought her a drink, <laughs> so that was uh, that was all I needed. So, <laughs> anyways, uh-huh. uh, I've got pickup line. Uh, oh, oh, this is fun. All right, I'm sorry. I thought we were talking about <laughs> my past. No, it was, all right, yeah, this yeah. is yeah, all right. You done? Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. yeah, my yeah. pickup line. It's the night before Christmas and love is in the air. You look like my kind of woman unless you got a dick under there. That's my. You're a poet. I am. Okay. I am. That's Dr. Seussish. Right. Arthur or Oscar Wilde. Yeah. Um, you got one there, Steve? I think so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what do you got? Uh, I think this is probably a great time to tell you that I put three roofies in your eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, I think that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. How about you, Derek? Let's go with, uh, are you a Christmas display? Because you keep me up way too late. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, I like that. Or, that's uh, awesome. How about you let me pretend I'm the UPS driver so I can destroy your box? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I like that Dude, one. Dude, you went for the fucking gusto on that one. Fuck, I was yeah. going to say. <laughs> or what about, how about, how about. Are you a porch pirate? Because I want to beat the shit out of you. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if that's okay. really a pickup line. I think but that I might be the best one. <laughs> well, for good. some girls, I think that is a pickup line, actually. It's kind of strange. It could be. It, she was like, you true. don't know him like I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, how about... Uh... <laughs> How about, are you my wife? Because you're going to financially ruin me this Christmas. <laughs> I think that's a good. That's good. Yeah. That's a good one. All right. Really went down. Next south. question. Uh, we had to give her her spot in the spotlight because Taylor Moroski is just fucking awesome at making suggestions for us. I think this is the chick that I looked up on Facebook. You she's did. super cute. Yeah, she's right? really yeah, cool, yeah, too. Yeah. She All is. Right. Uh, but anyways, Taylor, you got two this week. Uh, she wants to know, what would be the strangest thing to see inside of a snow globe? My semen. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the snow is made of it's real gloopy like glompy you know what i mean or gloopy i don't know what you call it but uh they just keep shaking and shaking and shaking and i'm like that's how it got in there uh okay uh i i had a a, a twin tower display is what i put okay it. yeah that's All right. That fell over. <laughs> like that thing crumbles I, as you shake it. You pull a string at the bottom and it goes back up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tower 7 survived. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Derek? A Tony Montana. What? The guy from Scarface. Oh, he's just oh, snorting yeah. the snow. <laughs> yes. That's pretty cool. That is pretty good. Yeah, or Whitney cool. Houston. Same thing. Yeah. How about my dick? <laughs> yeah, it could be. Uh, yeah, and be behind the bushes. All right. I've got... Ah oh, man, I don't know. Do you think we can do the last one? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna do the last one first. Uh, but this comes in from Christian. Is a Cole? God, they all have weird names this yeah, week. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? You picked Coel. Weird... I think can it's we Coel. have some Smith? You know why? It's Christmas and Noel. So I'm gonna go with Christian Coel, and his first name's Christian. That's even better. Uh, but he wants to know. Ru- it's pronounced Cole. Okay, it's pronounced Cole. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, he wants to know ruin a Christmas song with one word. Grandma got bent over by a reindeer. <laughs> I love it. I'm the reindeer. <laughs> I'll fuck a grandma, dude. I used to Perfect. fuck this chick that was like, no, now, <laughs> seriously, I saw her the other day. She's fucking old as shit now. <laughs> but when I was like 30, she was 46, I think, or 47. Oh, Jesus. And she was just like, come on my face all the time. And I was like, is this how they all do it? <laughs> yeah. Like the, all the grandmas? All of them. Uh, but now she looks old as bricks well, dude good. that would be and you're like you want me to come on your face for old time's sake yeah no i would for sure but <laughs> oh. it's uh it uh, i don't know man she it, i think it helped the wrinkles oh boy anyway yeah. um i uh i guess and uh, oh christmas nazi oh christmas nazi i think that'd ruin it yeah probably 
I, I okay. Here's the thing. It takes me a long time to think of good shit. It just I have to. I got to start looking at these fucking I'm, questions, dude. I'm, I here's show the up. thing. I have something in my head that if you if you can use it somehow, just do the dreidel song and somehow make that dreidel end up in Gaza or some shit. But that's what so, came in my mind. Obviously, if you used the n word in any no. Christmas song, that ruins the song. It does. It's, you can't do not, that. Yeah, let's not do that. Somebody asked me what that was the other day when I was on an all black comedy show, and I said Nickelodeon, <laughs> <laughs> and that seemed to work. So I think we're going to go with Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon sounds good. Uh, well, last but certainly not least, this last question is from Taylor Morosky. She wants to know: rejected animals to pull Santa's sleigh. Mm, the chupacabra. Fuck yeah. That'd be badass. That would actually. be cool. That would actually be kind of fucking cool. Oh, 100%. Dude, chihuahuas, like a pack of fucking chihuahuas pulling Santa's sleigh. Well, you, you they'd just be the shivering the entire time. <laughs> yeah, that'd be ridiculous. And then they'd be angry at everything uh -huh. that they saw. Santa sure as shit ain't getting around yeah. like quietly. No. Fuck no, that. Not at all. Uh, I, I went with the kangaroo. Okay. Kangaroos. They, I think that they're pretty powerful. Dude, I think they could do a good job. Not the little ones, the big ones that look like they're on fucking roids. Yeah, those that's ones. what I'm saying. Yeah, they would beat the shit out of Santa. Those things got some bad fucking attitudes. So no. I think that would be a bad idea. I saw an Australian guy punch one in the face. <laughs> I did too. When he pulled his dog away from him, and that little bitch ass kangaroo didn't do shit. He was like, "Whoa, <laughs> I, fuck, wait, I, what?" I, I know. I think and he, he was like shocked. bounced back and forth. Like, I, am I supposed to do something here? <laughs> yes. I think that was I Colby think Covington. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> How about you, um, Derek? Uh, well, a terrible one would be a sloth. Yeah, he's that, hitting like two houses. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's true. I think a silverback gorilla would be bad. Oh, dude, like, really? Oh man, like those are powerful as fuck too. Yeah, but imagine eight of those landing on your fucking roof. In the middle <laughs> yeah. Of the night. Boom! Yeah, you and wouldn't have a roof fucking, anymore. They just start hucking shit down your chin. Yeah, oh, that's absolutely. True. That's true. That's badass. Yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good Gerbils. one. To <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think if you had 12 gerbils in front of Santa's sleigh, it would be a bad fucking thing. It sure would. JP would be Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. That's very. Yeah, the fucking lead gerbil would be Mr. Lemmy Winks for sure. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so much I for feel like participating. That got us um, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and uh, yeah. I, I uh, JP won uh, last week. What? Really? Yeah, and How he is not here, and neither is Mike, but I got second anyway, so yeah. So I get the championship picks this week by, by uh, technicality. Uh, and Mike Baldwin needs to tighten it the fuck up. Has he <laughs> ever won any draft at all? Uh, yeah, I think he has. I think he's won once. But, uh, you know, he's got strange taste. Uh, but since Derek is a regular is the on the show. See? See? 70s bush. Stick. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right. okay. uh, but anyways, he, uh, or let's see, uh, Derek is normally on the show, so he's going to have the second overall pick. He's going to be the sandwich yeah. picks, which means, Steve, you get to be, have the first pick of this week's draft. And naturally, with the Christmas spirit in mind, we are going to do the draft of the weirdest things to ask Santa for Christmas. So, yeah, you know. That's uh, that's what we're gonna go with. So Steve, you get to uh, you get to kick this off. I don't think it's weird, but the only thing I've ever asked Santa for is seventies bush on a woman. Seventies bush, okay. I like a little bush. All right, that's fine. It's the flavor saver. Oh, and by the way, you can't ask for money. We forgot to put that rule into play. Okay. Uh, Derek, okay. what about you? Uh, I'm gonna go with a, a Dodge Neon. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really hoping to get that knee on this year. That's, yeah. Uh, fuck yeah, that's awesome. Uh, every year for since 1994, I've been doing <laughs> that Dodge knee on, and Santa has not delivered. Oh, that's like the Hyundai Tiburon. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, the sporty version of a Dodge knee on, I think. 
I see your Dodge Neon, and I raise you Chrysler PT Cruiser. You fucking dick. I was going to do that. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Uh, so that, I won the car draft. Mm-hmm. Um, but here's here's where I'm I'm absolutely going to fall off the deep end. Um, I am going to ask Santa for, hmm. I'm 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 gonna go with an inflatable jump castle. That's weird, Scotty. That's, yeah. That's uh. What was what was the title of this again? The, the strangest things to ask. Strangest. Sanus. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was weirdest. Yeah. I I did. I that again. is that is strange. Yeah, especially that's, 35 with no kids. That's kind of yeah, that's but you're elf size, so that kind of makes sense. <laughs> so <laughs> that's. It sounds like some Epstein kind of shit that's yeah, going on. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's all right. Well, we all got to make money. It's, you know, <laughs> it's fine. So. God damn it. Okay. Uh, okay, Derek. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, a trampoline for the front yard. <laughs> no, you fucking dick. <laughs> Natalie, Natalie fucking Peters. He's calling you out right now. Uh, for the front yard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Off yeah. The, the front. Totally different than the backyard. Yeah, trampoline. not a backyard yeah. trampoline. Yeah, a sure. front yard no, trampoline. No, backyard <laughs> trampolines are normal. That's that's the shit that normal people sure do. FY front yard. Yeah, I yeah. will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I have a front yard trampoline. <laughs> And it's not like a normal like front yard. like it's it's in the front of the front yard like everybody sees it they drive by they're like Jesus right these people are trash it's almost like putting inflatables in your front yard it's, I love it uh, but anyways uh, Steve you get two in a row what's some strange things to ask Santa oh hmm. see it's tougher than you think. Uh, yeah it kind of is man I'm uh I I think I'm gonna go with uh. Mad Dog 2020 and Unlimited <laughs> Supply. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't think most I don't think people that listen to the show know what that is. <laughs> Fuck them then. <laughs> they know exactly what that is. Yeah. Anybody that's over 23 knows what Mad Dog 2020. Okay, is. and then you get an unlimited an unlimited supply. a supply. Yeah. Okay. That's like an unlimited supply of the worst hangover you've ever had in your entire <laughs> life. Okay. Uh, and what's your next pick? Wait, what did Derek have? Uh Derek currently has a Dodge Neon and a trampoline for the front yard. And what did you have? I have a PT Cruiser and a jump castle. Uh, <laughs> all right. I want the McDonald's play place in my <laughs> front yard. McDonald's play place. I fucking like that pick. That's good. I kind of dig that one, actually. That'd be pretty badass. Dude, I'm not like, even If lying. I could just slide down the hamburglar Fuck every yes. single day. <laughs> Fuck yeah. To amazing. go to work like yeah. Fred Flintstone. Yeah, sure. <laughs> You're not sure. on the Veronica You're going down the hamburglar. Absolutely. I think this is such a great idea because I think you win the the, the jump and fun. You know what? This is why McDonald's took those goddamn things out. It's because now, as adults, we would try to play in them. I don't think they took them all out, did they? Yeah, no, there's a no, couple there's left. Really? Right? Yeah, there's yeah. some left. Oh, there's some fuck. left. Yeah, we gotta find out. Yeah, there's that. some left. How about you, Derek? You get the next pick. Ball pit. Damn it, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that's a fucking. I love that. Great pick. Damn mm. it. Oh fuck! I'm gonna crash my Dodge Neon into it. <laughs> I, have, I have a question about the rules of this game. Is this is this an unrealistic not? like never going to happen type thing. Well, I mean, you did ask for the play place. (laughs) Yeah, I know. So is this, is this something that's just never going to happen? Is that probably. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try to see if this works. If it doesn't work, you just let me know. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, a higher credit score. Does that count? Can I use that? I mean, that? he's the banker. I'll, I'll allow it. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I'll take it. Higher credit score. I want your that. Your credit score has to be pretty high already. Yeah, I know, but I'm just asking for general. Oh, what a dick. Yeah, because my credit score That's a little extra high. white. <laughs> like, that's... Actually, no, it's pretty average, actually. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's see. Next pick, I am... Let's see. What do I want? Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with... I'm going to go with a lar- the largest ball of yarn. I thought you were going to say urine. <laughs> I was like, Largest God. bottle of urine. No. <laughs> yeah. We're going to tan some shit. I- I'm getting ready to quit my job. I'm going to need a whole bunch of drug tests. So, yeah, no. I'm going to go with the largest ball of yarn. I hear that's okay. like a, it's a traction somewhere in like Iowa or some shit. Oh, no. I think it's actually in Kansas. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go with that because I can't think of anything. Uh, okay. Derek, you get the next one. Uh, 
VCR tape rewinder. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's actually, that's pretty doable. (laughs) Like, I've got three of them in my basement (laughs) right now. That's fucking awesome. Who here still has a VCR? Uh, I just want the rewinder. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't no, think I it's a legitimate anymore. question. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Have, do, I don't, you don't think have, I have one anymore. That's crazy. I don't have one either. Yeah. But yeah. anyways, uh, Steve, you get your last two picks uh, in a row. Yeah. Okay. Back to back. So if it's an unrealistic pick, uh, my wife to be nice to me for a year. <laughs> that okay. would be that would be number one. All right. And then uh, my wife to be nice to me for one month. <laughs> so that's same that's, pick. That's you got you got to pick a different one. Ah, fuck the man. last one. The weirdest pick ever. Yeah. Uh, I want that magic carpet from Aladdin. Okay. I, I kind of like that pick. Does I do too. It, does it work? We, yeah, okay. motherfucker. It's okay. the magic carpet. I can fly anywhere I want to go. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, Derek, this is your last pick. Santa to get diabetes. <laughs> okay. He already has it. No, he doesn't. He still has he both feet. He eats candy canes and he's <laughs> fucking fat. It's fine. Jesus Christ, this is a weird diabetic yeah. Santa. <laughs> yep, diabetic Santa. Uh, and then I'm gonna wrap this uh, draft up with. Well, I'm gonna go with the time machine. Oh, fuck off, Stewie. Yeah, that's what I want. I want a DeLorean, motherfuckers. But anyways, that is this week's draft. You can go to laughing on the sidelines or facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. And you can go to Twitter, which is L-O-T sidelines and vote for the list that has the weirdest things to ask Santa for Christmas. Uh, But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Vorshay's Lounge, baby. When's that sponsor money going to start rolling in? I don't know. We gotta Next talk to, week, we, gotta we talk just to. have to get it approved by the accountant. And who's the accountant? Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> she sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the worst accountant you've ever met because that bitch doesn't pay anything. Oh, God. Oh, I shit. love that my hooves can grab my Jameson and water. There you this go. This is amazing. Uh, anyways, uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is would you rather always have to have your front yard filled with 200 inflatables or have a front yard trampoline. So fucking white trash. <laughs> God, dude. I don't, I, I don't think you understand. Like, I lose sleep over this shit. I honestly fucking lose sleep over this. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, I... I you guys have made this harder, too, I know. by the way. I, yeah, it, it's, it, this is always there. Always. 100% of the time. Yeah, so I thought there. I was going to pick the inflatables immediately because you can take the inflatables down no. at the end of the season. No. And then these motherfuckers were like, I didn't mean to point my hoof at you. <laughs> these motherfuckers were like, no, you have to leave them up year round. Year round. It's like Christmas This lights. is the <laughs> worst thing you could ever... Like, I don't think you understand how bad this is for me. Oh, no. This is awful. I hate inflatables, so <sighs> I am I am Steve Petersing it up. I am having it's a... It's so bad, dude. I'm this having is, a trampoline. This is, this is an unwinnable situation. I also, this isn't a shitty situation. This is an unwinnable situation. The other sure. thing is, it's like the people in your neighborhood, are they like, are, are they trying to invite people? They to, hate yeah. me. <laughs> they hate me. Are they trying to invite other kids to come and play in their front yard? It's, no, I mean, it's there in the front no, yard. No, no one plays in the front yard in my neighborhood. <laughs> we just need to start tailgating in Steve's front yard. Yeah, now. that's right. 100%. I'll go piss on the shed. <laughs> I, that's a good start. Yeah, actually. that's that's. Uh, I did have a heater installed in my garage this week. I've got so that. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. It's good yeah. stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm definitely I, I can deal more with a trampoline in the front yard than I can with just inflatables everywhere. I don't want to be that guy. I'd much rather be the you know yeah the guy that has kids with a fucking trampoline in the front yard than the guy that has fucking inflatables everywhere so no i have to be honest with you okay i've thought long and hard about this i 
have so much lack of respect for my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the inflatables. <laughs> oh my god. Year round inflatables. Can I switch them out so that like Fourth of July we have like George Washington inflatables? Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, that's and fine. Trump and shit like that. Yeah, you can. I don't even like that guy. <laughs> All right. In, anyway, I, I'm going with inflatables then. 110 percent so right. my neighbors can sell their house across the street and tell me to fuck off one more time okay fair enough How i about love you, that Derek? i'm going with the trampoline are you and here's why okay uh number one because you want my wife to have neck problems <laughs> <laughs> i love that that's awesome that's it's like hey babe can i get a blow job she's like no i can't with my brace on yeah she tonight. can she just has to like yeah. rock back and forth like that's she's true. autistic yeah. that's true <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> It's a make a, it. it's a make this a wish awesome. beach. <laughs> that's, that's great. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so uh, I like to. Do, I'm going to go with the trampoline. Uh, two reasons. Number one, uh, it's going to be easier for people to steal one big ass trampoline <laughs> than 200 fucking inflatables. I don't think so. And I num- think these kids are going to come through with a knife and just do them all in one night. <laughs> number two. Wichita gets a lot of wind, and I can see that trampoline <laughs> just get whisked true. up and down the fucking street. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I would love for that to happen. So I, that is, really. uh, I'm going to go with the trampoline for that's those a good, two reasons. That, nope, you're right. I and all, the Man Show, girls on trampolines can't beat that either. That's true. But. Yeah. <laughs> Well, unless your wife is on a trampoline and she fucks up her neck. <laughs> it became it became not erotic very quickly where yeah. it's like, all right, I'll carry you inside. Fuck. You know? Dude, my wife broke her foot stepping off a curb. <laughs> oh, God. My wife broke her foot running upstairs to our bedroom because we were going to bang. And then I was like... Was she running away? Yeah. Well, I mean... <laughs> You know, this yeah. happens. Uh, and then I had to take her to the hospital instead of banging. So I basically it was weird to. jacking off in the hospital parking lot. <laughs> and it was during COVID, so I couldn't go in with her. So it was kind of nice, actually. I was, it was kind of relaxing, actually. That was, uh, yeah. I would go for that again, for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, she broke God. her foot in three places. When she, broke, awesome. when she broke her foot, I told her basically to walk it off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, well, I mean, come on, don't be a pussy. She stepped know? off the curb, and my fifth question was, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the first one was, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> How the fuck did you do that? <laughs> I love it. That's so awesome. Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> yes. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> My fourth yeah. question was, are That's, you okay? I yeah. love that. That's awesome. Uh, so I, I, me and Derek are doing, tra- dude, I, I just thought of something though. You made a good point about Kansas being windy and it blowing mm-hmm. that trampoline away. I also see a very, very severe insurance claim of that trampoline hitting somebody else's house. Mm-hmm. I don't, I, 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 yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's, <laughs> you, yeah. It better not fuck up my neon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you fucking neon. Oh, shit. I'm just glad I have hooves for this episode. <laughs> for that, what it's worth, that hits th- my these neon. Don't, these are the dumbest fucking hooves they are. on planet Earth. I know, but, like, they, but they look I, great. They're webbed if, hooves. I, I was going to say, if I was a duck, <laughs> this would make sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this does not make, like, if, I need little camel toes like that. Yeah, you know you what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. No, you got I one. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah. you well, sure yeah. do. Yeah, you know, it's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyways, obviously, with the show being sponsored by Vorshays, Steve, do you have any good comedians coming through town? We have a shitload of comedians, uh, you dick. Get, get, I wish you'd have let me know I'm, about I'm this. I'm sorry. So I, I, fig- I figured you could run up. through like I'm, the next I'm month. I'm doing it right. Okay, so for January, we have the... Jerry Seinfeld. Mm, <laughs> yep. Hang and on Kevin here. Hart. Yeah, we do have all of those people, actually. It's, it's kind of wild. Uh, we have uh, we have Dan Green. Okay. He's uh, he's out at the Laugh Factory in L.A. He's from Australia. He's fucking awesome. We have him and Chris Kidder. Uh, we have Tom Takar. We have Ben Jones. We have Gareth Reynolds. We have Nat Baymel. Uh, we have somebody else. I'm free. Oh, Barry Laminick. I love that guy. He's from Houston. Uh, and we have... Uh, I don't know okay. other people but so, yeah you got a lot go of to shows. if there you want to you come go. see a show have so. fun well i just want to give a big oh, we have a magic show oh it's, what it's so bad dude. <laughs> it's 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 it is the fucking worst i love this kid to death he's great 
uh, and he wanted to have a magic show, and I was like, I just did all right. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that is the first Saturday in February. Um, there's no rules, just heckle. It's fine. <laughs> uh, when you're like, I just saw your hand. It's fine, you know. Um, yeah. So he's fun. Okay. Yeah. That uh, sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it'll be a cheap show oh, for sure. sure. That's will. not an expensive one. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Steve Peters. I sincerely do appreciate it. Love, Love you, it man. when you're on yeah. the show. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, Mr. Derek Alders, thank you very much, sir. So I'm going to have to do this again after the first of the year or whatever it is, and then Maybe. we're going to have to like knock it out of the park. Oh, we this, will. This, was, uh, this was fun. Yeah. But I feel like we need to get to a three million view show again. Absolutely. So. It's a lot of fun when that shit happens. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Guys, we really do appreciate it, and we hope that you have a very merry Merry Christmas. Hope where you're going, uh, you get there safely and home safely and uh, all that stuff. But guys, as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor if you like us and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope you tell your spouse you're her Christmas gift and then she returns you because you're a size too small. <laughs> that happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you don't like us, uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Happy Kwanzaa, bitches. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.